Hello, cruise mates. All right, this is take number two. Just for some reason, my oh, I had my stream pulled up. Oops, smile. Uh, my internet crashed. Or rather, I say my internet crashed, but right, things just like right, it worked for the first twenty seconds, and then it just disconnected for me for whatever reason. Oh, here we are. Two wonderful inmates. The cruise ship captain, Chartreuse Proxy, ever at your service, everybody. Once again, it is Thursday, September twenty-one, and. For long-time viewers of my channel, this is the third time that I'm playing this series. Every time the oh, like, Worlds comes up, which is the uh, like, Ultimate Championship, the annual one that features all the teams from around the world of each of the League of Legends Pro, like, pro Series, Pro Leagues, whatever I guess. LCS, LEC, LPL, L, like, LCK, and then you know all the minor regions, everything like that. It always gets me pumped, and to honor that, I like to play Teamfight Manager, to where it takes part of what I consider to be one of the most exciting things on my esports viewing experience of the draft. Well, yeah, the team fights are great too, but champion draft and everything like that. If you aren't familiar with League of Legends at all, or anything of how that works, don't worry, I'll explain it to you. But the essence, of course, is it's kind of like with, with any, if you're familiar with any type of MOBA, there's character bans, you get to pick in alternating orders against you and your opponents and everything like that. And because of that, it is a very whole, uh, strategic game since I am just only going to be a coach, or rather the teamfight manager, not the actual player here. I played this game every single year, all three years of my streaming career, and well, and always in anticipation of Worlds. And with, of course, all the pro leads finished, we are looking at about a month until all the world stuff really starts coming together. Well, we already have the schedule, but like the world's music and natural matches coming up then. So, without further ado, why don't we see if we can win Gale Force its own trophy? Because I've already done a few games before, as you can see here. A few hours of playtime, either to winning the World Championship or bumboing out in the Amateur League before. I used to represent uh, Sky 5, oop, my phone just fell off its scan, which was, you know, <laughs> a amalgamation of Cloud9, since that has always been, amalgamation is word, a offshoot, a spinoff of Cloud9, since they've always been my favorite team to support, but that was in my first year whenever I played, so then when I actually got my VTube group of Gale Force, I started repping them now. But instead, we'll just be going against all of the different teams from around the world as our opponents. And what better way than to represent Gale Force ourselves? Now, I'm going to turn up a few different difficulty settings here, because I am a pretty uh, I'm a pretty well vetted veteran, I guess. Uh what's his face? Of this game. I am going to be playing on hard difficulty because I'm pretty sure I did insane before on my last year profile and then I bombed out in the amateur lead and that just kind of killed season two. So I'll just do hard which is just gonna be a stat gap which means my draft things just gotta be more not uh, like more aggressive and just better than them of course. Usually it would only start with 2v2 so only two players per team but I like to play it at 4v4 to start because that would take about uh, two seasons worth of patches, aka maybe that's already going to be two, three streams, so just tone that up. And usually the patch cycles to where they adjust the champion balance are pretty infrequent, honestly. But it's my challenge run, I feel, this year. I mean, I say challenge run, I'm not doing insane, but this is my third time around. But I only play this year always, so I think it'll be fun to just keep it at hard to where I'm going to have some difficulty, but... Make it so I have to keep adjusting because if I have more patches each season, I gotta keep moving around, keep adjusting. And quite frankly, well, it's not like League or, or Dota because they play on previous patches, but that's how it goes. Usually, there's also a regular champion order to where up uh, up to two champions start up until I think the starting 12, the original 12 is how it is. Uh, what's his face? That is always uh, that has always been set it, and then they add random champions. But I've already done that twice over now in the past two seasons. So instead, I'm just gonna have random champions in a balanced order. So there's enough healers, tanks, support, DPS, whatever. So I won't get the exact starting ones. I'm gonna have to adjust my uh, my strategy on the fly. And then finally, ban and pit time limit. How much time I'm gonna get within each phase of the game? The standard is 45 seconds in League of Legends, so there's nothing in between that, so I'll go 40 seconds for a bit more of a challenge then. 
So we'll proceed. Of course, I am going to be repping exactly so. Gale Force as my team. And well, Cruiser is my tag always. I was debating about putting on what's his face, uh, putting on my Gale Force towers because I am coaching Gale Force for this. And honestly, that actually might be a good idea. If I'm Gale Force, instead of just being, you know, yellow, maybe I'll be, uh, maybe I'll make myself purple and actually do it. Because I think I kind of did that for part of last year too. Let's see. I got to speak to your manager. Hi, Calvin. I'm the manager. Hi, Owie. Hope you're doing well, uh, well too. Let me pull up my, uh, let me pull up my alternate models. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do that for Team Fight Manager itself. Let's see here. Finals 2.0. Where is my special ones? My Gale Force colors. Yippee ki -yay. Is something supposed to be happening? I mean, uh, it's just the back, it's just the background stuff, uh, happening. But, wow, I adjust myself here real quick. Let me give some bad story on this. You missed your girlfriend, though? Well, I missed mine, too. And I hit game capture instead of V2. Oops. The main basis of the game is that you are a retired esports veteran who's won world championships. But now, you are looking to try to coach your way to a world championship win. Instead of playing, you are coaching your way to a win. So... Will that work out? We'll see how it goes. But quite frankly, it is... Alright, it's gonna be... It's gonna be a trip for me. Going back down my memory lane with all of this. Relearning the game. But also just getting to commentate and everything like that again. Because, oh man. If that's one highlight of mine, it is... Getting to just live witness, commentate, and just get excited over my team and everything like that. So what is this game? It's Team Fight Manager. I think it's an esports sim, to where you are the coach of an esports team, trying to lead them to the world championship. I'm just trying to adjust my model right now because, of course, I'm going to be coaching none other than Gale Force. So if I can find my model that is my Gale Force colors, then we would be on our way. Anytime now. Where I'm, I'm going through my model files. Here we go. Ja ja! Gale Force, nice galaxy purple. Purple ish, at the very least. You can see here Cruiser, who holds the record for most wins, championship wins, since Southwise for the world being appointed the, uh, the, the amateur league Gale Force's team coach. Cruiser made a promise to lead the team to victory in the world championship. We look forward to seeing how he does. So, I'm going to. Uh, so, this series, once again, is a love letter to Worlds coming up. Because League of Legends Worlds is in a month's time or so. It's a yearly series that I always do. Now granted, year one, I won the World Championship. Year two, I bombed out in the Amateur League. But year three, we'll see how we can do. But this will be a flex of my knowledge in esports, as well as teams, and just, well, my strategy prowess. If I can win, smile. So, let's see. We have, once again, this is 4v4 League. And we have four players to start with. Each of them with different stats, of course, ages, which can affect how well they train in the future, and champions that they are good with. First and foremost, let me see who we have here. Konami, Kaiser, Big Pomelo, Froggen. The people that I do recognize, of course, Froggen, the great blue bird himself, legend of alliance elements and whatever, uh, and whatever onwards from EMEA, from the LEC, Europe. Konami, Kaiser, I believe... I think Kanavi's LPL, which is China, Kaiser might be LCK Korea? Now, I did just say I'd be flexing my knowledge here, but there's a lot of like streamers, press, pro players, and whatever always referenced in here. I will be playing through a whole schedule of games with all the other teams in my league in an attempt to try to make it to the end of the season and get promoted from the amateur league to the semi pro to the pro league and then make worlds. This league itself is eight teams, and as you can see here, we are looking to make the top five at the very least to make playoffs. If you made six through seven, uh, six, seven six through seventh, yeah, great job, because you sit seventh, eighth, you do not move at all. And to really, to really cement it in, oh, Nichi Kano, if you're doing well, we are playing with a lot of the wildcard teams from, well, 
uh, from, you know, well, I just said from Modern Day League of Legends itself. So, like, Loud from the Brazilian League, D DFM, Disney Sin Focus Me from the LJL, GAM, PSG, Anyone's Legend, etc. Those are more wildcard teams that have always persisted throughout, well, uh, persisted, I say, they've been probably either the most recent winners or the most famous winners of their leagues, like how DFM has almost always been, I think, besides, like, one year, been the representative for Japan, and is the representative for the LJL again this year at Worlds. So once again, we are looking to recruit players to our roster right now, and then fight through each of the matches to where I think it's double round robin through everybody before we get on to each of the seasons and stuff. You ask me there, I don't like League. Well, unfortunately, that's just something that I like, so you might not like this series as much. But this is more, ab uh, this isn't about League itself, but more about one of the most interesting mechanics in MOBAs, which is drafting, character drafting and everything like that. Because I, like... Whenever the game starts, it's kind of like auto battles or like team fight tactics or anything like that, auto chess, to where I have no control over my uh, over my player's decisions. I can only give them their characters and just be like, look, your character hard count is theirs, we can win this. Speaking of which, of course, the main thing that we have to look at is look at the champions that we're going to be starting with. Oh yeah, that's on Sisters thing. I'm trying to, it's a lot to take in, but once you actually get to the draft phase, it'll actually be really cool to see. Because it's a very interesting premise, even if you don't like lead. If you understand how MOBAs work enough, then it's really interesting to you. And it's really interesting from a spectator and a player perspective. So, these are the starting characters. They're divided up into each of their roles, of course. So, like, Warriors, your Frontline, Marksman, your ADC. Mages, of course, my type, Uwu. Supports, assassins, etc. Stuff like that. We will always be picking, drafting, banning from the, from the list here. And everybody is pretty bare bones stereotypes. What's the archer do? They shoot their bow. They can shoot their bow rapidly. They can kite people by shooting and stunning them. What does the swordsman do? He hits with his sword. He shreds defense with his sword. He cuts in a line with his sword. It's pretty easy to understand stereotypes when it comes to these characters here and because of that it's like even if you don't understand like what it may be if like oh this is a straight reference to lead or dodo or so you can understand the gist of what they do if you see sniper as a marksman what do they do they snipe you from a distance enough said you don't really have to look too much into what they do otherwise so the main thing that I want to do is see if I can find what champions my characters like, uh, my players like, and work with them, and, and work with them to get a rounded team composition. Because right now, Genavi, Pyromancer, Ghost, that is a mage and an assassin respectively, Mystic Dance Illusionist, Damage Support, Shrine Raiden, Ghost, Support Assassin, Rodin, Assassin Marksman. I need some frontliners here. Chances are, what I probably want to do is scout out for some talent, see if I can get more people on my roster. Because although I am always playing with four people, I can have up to six people, I believe, in my roster. Meaning, if I have some backups that I can swap out in between games, that will be very important. So I'm going to spend some of my money for that. And in the meantime, I want... I want you to train and see... I want y'all to train and see if we can't broaden our champion horizons right now. Everybody has their base stats, but if I pit, if I specifically pit characters that they have mastered, have mastery with, that'll buff both of their stats by that number. So Frogin has 6 attacks, 6 defense, but if I pick him Vampire in game, that'll be plus 4, so he'll have 10 attack, 10 defense, which is very important things to do. I can also do things, of course, to like actually train up their own mastery, change who they're good with, etc., stuff like that. But for the meantime, all that I need to do is just hopefully make some money, and just wait out this recruitment period. It's kind of the boring side. So we're just going to go through the wheats. Navi doesn't want to stream. You stream for a week, dude. Okay, well, whatever. In that case, then. Uh, Kaiser, you stream instead, my dude. They're just going to make me some residual money, which will go towards facility upgrades, such as more roster slots or a better, you know, team house to live in and everything like that. So this is once again preseason. Okay, yeah, guys, whatever. Bone points for card new champions. 
two shadow mancers, a werewolf, and a bard. Nobody is joining frontline. Seriously? All right. Hi. 13 attack, 12 defense, and of course, hi. The famous Cloud9 player turned Radiance, of course, as well. I will draw to recruit him because he has pretty good base stats compared to my other players. And then I'll keep scouting for another one because 12, 13, 12 compared to like 6, 7 and everything like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. In the meantime, then, Froggen, I feel like you could buff that werewolf a bit. In the meantime, though, otherwise, everybody, I want y'all to either start, like, buffing your regular stats over time and still any new characters. I, I need frontliners, please. Why are all of my players support players? Straight up. Uh, otherwise, then, hi... I, I don't want to spend the money on the training. So that's going to cost stuff now. So instead, we'll have everybody... Everybody is mandated streaming right now. Streaming here is just earning me a little money. And I have a chance to make in big butts as well. If I, I... Depending on what objective I choose for them. I should have gone over. So you can see here. Success rate for ads. I only get 20 gold. But I can make almost 100 if I do more stuff. Support best class? Let's go. I mean, I love playing support in video games too. Wow, I'm really winning these 22%. But I need these guys. I need a front line, really, to work with this here. I learned Archer. Okay, thanks, I guess, guys. Alright, so I need to sign my sponsorship, which will grant me Boku bots, quite frankly, but also funds, which I can use to make equipment for our team as well, for instance. Prevent a losing squeak of two? I don't trust that. Win 2-0 eight times in regular season, because games are best of three, first of two. Could do, possibly. Achieve at least fourth place in the final ranks? That seems easy enough. Achieve a win streak of four? Possibly. Just choose those characters three times? That's totally doable in a single match. Four wins? Nine times instead. Four win streak? Wait, win streak of at least four? At least four? That's just the same, but Shine Yoto Lab's better than Tomorrow Pet Food. Right, Frank, I think I could definitely do a win streak of four. And that is a the biggest payout compared to everything else. Of course, I can also, I'll also get Gaspod Pro, which is special equipment. So let's do that. Let's, that'll be our sponsor for the season. So that's our sponsor obligation to try to do. Because they will be able to get us stuff like... Alright, new equipment that'll give us buffs and also help put possibly let us craft equipment in the future. I mean, granted, I have, I, I should be looking at, oh, what's his face? I should be looking at trying to buy, uh, save up money for those facility upgrades. Who am I looking at? Jinbei. Well, guess what, Jinbei? You you do have, uh, what's his face? You do have a front guarder, which I will take. And he's got a trait. Vanguard increases all stats by 10 until the first kill. Welcome to the team, sir. Now, recruitment period, I won't be able to find anybody else, unfortunately. But for now, I'll just have everybody continue training up. Jinbei, please go ahead or in a new champion as well. And Pig Pomelo has been winning these 26% pretty well for me. Okay, well, I say that, but it's whatever. Oh, good. That, that would have been three times over. He, he rolled well. Pig Pomelo, just take a 50-50 for me. Earn me whatever butts I can. Let's try. Oh, everybody's just gonna keep training, and this is my little crowded team house for the meantime. Finally! Jinbei also learns Lancer! And we got more Marksman and an Institution. So I have some front one and front Frogin and Jinbei. Alright. So I can register everybody to my team in case I have more people. I can only register six for my roster. And the main thing here to keep note of then is uh what's his face? Is the fact that... Hmm, okay. Try just train up your sniper, I'd suppose. Keep your archer going. I would... Well, actually, no. You train up your sniper, Froggen. Kaiser, Mystic Dancer. Just be a one trick for us for now. New champion, new champion. Yep, that'll be good. So, we are going to play against anyone's legend as our first game. So, do I know what they like to pitch? Sniper. Three snipers, two archers on their team. So, I might want to ban those out. 
Well, let's go on. Now we can actually get to the game after 20 minutes of explaining things. But then again, that was all set up. Because now this will just be fights, 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 draft, draft, draft this whole time. So, main thing here. I need to choose which four of my players are going to play. I do think Hai and Jinbei are going to be my solid starters considering they have double the stats of my starting players. And then it comes down to who else I might possibly want. Now there are small things that can depend such as traits but my players really don't have any besides Jinbei. And also their mood which is how they might play during the match. So like for example, Hai's mood is down so he might perform less than average but his base stats are pretty good so I'd write, like to keep you in sir. Otherwise... Let's lead with Kanavi and Frog and otherwise too, I feel. Or let's... Yeah, let's do let's do that. Why not? It's first game. So, how does this work? If you, once again, if you haven't ever played a MOBA or seen any competitive MOBA, this is the main gist of the game. We have this draft phase right here. I'll have 40 seconds to decide everything and what I want to do. We are going to take turns, me and anyone's legend, my opponents, banning champions from the other team. Uh, banning champions that can't be used by any team. We both get two bans before we start alternating in picking our champions. Because you get to have to make your, uh, you have to make your, uh, what's his face, your draft on the fly. It's not just, oh, we can play our comfort characters all the time. So for instance, once again, there's three snipers on their side, so I will have no sniper in this match. They ban Shadowmancer, which is a target ban against Kanavi, I suppose so. So who am I looking to ban next then? Chances are that is only one out of four marksmen, which I could really target them and ban Archer as well, considering how that would just make Yuan completely like, uh, have to fall back on a character he doesn't play, so I think that would be a good option. And now, once they ban the next character, they ban Lancer. Well, that sucks. Now, we get on to the real bulk, once again, of drafting. I will get my first pick, because I am on blue side, before they get two. Then I will go one, two, two, one, 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 I think. I don't remember exactly how the draft goes, because I'm used to five on, uh, five on five, not two on two. But who do I want to pick up first and foremost? Chances are, they don't have any big healer. They do have some marksmen, so I'll go Shrine Maiden, because Hai is best master in Shrine Maiden. A support who can heal and damage. And this is once again how I want to parse out my thoughts every single time. They're picking Plague Doctor and Vampire. This is a combination to where Plague Doctor is a Jack of All Trades Bruiser who beefs up his ally stats in exchange for their health. Vampire is an assassin who likes to go in on the back line and is pretty good at not dying if there's no assassins. Might want to deal with that. So, who would I. Uh, so, What's a good idea for me to draft into that then? They have pretty good uh, they have pretty good attack power on us, so I might want to look towards somebody who can disrupt them, like Fighter, for instance, even though nobody has Mastery on him. It might be a good idea. So I think I'm, I would just have to lead with that for now, just to give myself a front line, even though nobody plays him. Werewolf. That is a assassin who just continues to dash around over and over again. That could be an issue. That could be an issue. They are a very dive-heavy composition, and I don't necessarily like that. What could be good then? I could maybe go Executioner. Jinbei and Frogin both play him. He can pull in enemies and really cause problems there, so I think that might be good. Fight, I'd fight them on that end. Just to go Swordsman, because Swordsman is pretty strong itself, and I think I will do so. Because he's just a solid frontline who can shred their lot of HP, I feel. And then lastly, chances are what I'm uh, what I'm honestly thinking is I could also just go Ghost for Kanavi. Ghost is going to be my main DPS to where his gimmick is that he does not have an ultimate, but every time he kills an enemy, he gets increased stats. And considering how there's no other healer on the table and they have two assassins, I could easily I could easily just make them pay for picking a very squishy team comp, especially since Plague Doctor's in the midst. And then they pick Illusionist, who is a character, uh, like who is a mage that makes copies, uh, that makes copies of enemy, uh, that makes copies of your allies to easily hurt them. I know it's a lot of info dump, but this is the first game of the season, so we're gonna have to really feel things out. So, 
now, once everybody pits their characters, I feel like I didn't come out too strong in the draft, but I did get comfort pits. You can trade your ally, you can trade your pits between your team members. You'll see if they're highlighted with a champion they prefer, they get their mastery stats added to their attack and defense. So it's a pretty good idea to once again pit for comfort, but if you have to pit characters that your uh, that your players don't play, it's totally fine too. Because it's all about what do you think is better for them? Comfort or actual good team count? And sometimes you might have to rely on that. And that's like regular esports too. It may not be meta, but I'm comfortable with it. I know how to play them. Or granted, I can't do too much here besides stone them to use their ultimate abilities early or late, which honestly, as a ghost composition, we want to scale early, so probably that'll do. But then once I hit start, all I can do is watch my players and see how they do. I've done the draft work, but now it's out of my hands as team fight man as the manager of the team, or the coach rather. All I can do is watch how they play. Chances are, I want Jinbei to be on Swordsman rather than Froggen because he has better base stats and I need another DPS option along to Kanavi because Froggen is just going to be an annoyance to these guys who are looking to dive in on him. The way the game works is that the team fight lasts for one minute to where most kills wins. Everybody gets one ultimate cast and just once again, whichever team has the most wins wins the first game and first to two best of three wins. So first and foremost, I will get to commentating the matches later on, but the main thing that you'll want to take note of is the fact that when somebody dies, they'll respawn in like 2-3 seconds or so, it really isn't that much of a wait time, but also, like, you'll get to see how everybody's like living, dying, like the, the current store at the top as well, and crucially, the biggest thing too, is there's no, like, it's like the actual timer up here, how much time is left in the match. Now granted, I am getting completely stomped by them. My front line is shredding too fast because they're uh, my front line is shredding too fast to their assassins, and my ghost currently only has one stack. Make that two now. Now we really need to scale because considering how we're down by twenty, I thought we'd be able to disrupt them more with fighter, but these assassins once again are way too much on our front line, and they also got a way better ultimate cast than us. Not the best, not the best start for us, but this is first game of the season, so we'll fill it out. I thought I had a stronger draft, but I think they did just run over us completely. So, first set loss, not the worst thing ever, but I gotta figure out this meta. Give me another chance, trust me, I'll make up for it. Yeah, you didn't betray my trust, my dude. Fact is, I don't, I don't think we really did the best draft-wise there. Alright, another try here. I think... I tried running Ghost with it. I don't think it really worked out well. So maybe I need to copy what he did. Every time, uh, every game, the sides will switch as well. So we'll see how it goes. Hmm. Point Doctor was a problem here. And, and because I'm red side this time, I don't want them getting first pit. Because they really did just ult early and then run us over completely. No answer. They keep target banning that. I don't want any sniper in that case. I'll target ban them. They're taking Werewolf first and foremost again. That is super annoying to me. I don't want to deal with a Werewolf dashing all over us. So what would be good in that case then? Trinaden wasn't able to outheal that. So honestly, I do think taking Archer would be good to possibly deny them some space. Because I can stun their Werewolf. Because yeah, he reduces healing effects, which is something I forgot about. So Shrine Maiden couldn't do much there at all. So high, but three, no, no, nothing there. So I think I will just go Archer for my first pit then. And then I don't know exactly what I might want to go for second. Vampire isn't as high priority because the werewolf can just get to his coffin easily. So instead, what I'm possibly thinking of... Bard could slow down attack speed, but it's not the best. Hmm. I think Illusionist could be good. Double backline for me. That way, even if Werewolf's sassing around, I'll be able to hit them. Fighters selected Nets. They're going to be diving in on me, possibly. So now I do think that Executioner is actually going to be a good idea. Because although he's trusted as an assassin, he has a pretty gosh darn good HP pool and defense. That'll stop them from wanting to possibly go in more. Shadow Manster Gambler. They really just want to stay in on our face and dive us. So, what is the play then? It honestly could be Bard to help me uh, to 
keep us sped up and around, but that's still three back line. Ghost gets stunned way too much, I feel. I don't think that's the right play. Is it? I could run Ghost back, give it to Chinavi again, and hope for it. Give me Ghost. Give me Ghost again. I'm gonna trust in Janavi. We still got some comfort pits, which is the main thing here. So it's not the worst thing ever. And I will use my ultimates early again. So the main game plan is to let Ghost pop off again and shut down their werewolf. So let's hope for it. Because once again, Ghost is a assassin who goes off of stats. Now that werewolf does, uh, does dash around a good bit. Hopefully with the illusionist making shadows, we can do a good bit more damage. Now, granted, that pull did not work out on our end here. I still only have one stack on my ghost. But that is going to, uh, that is our own ultimates coming back now. That is a team wipe, and we are ahead in kills now. So hopefully we can continue stealing. Because the fact is with their Shadow Mancer, they're going to keep spawning in on us. Like, immediately, instead of spawning on their side of the field, they'll spawn in right where they died. So it could actually be negative gaming on their end, to where a ghost will continue to just pop off, pop off, pop off, deal more and more damage as he continues to do so right now. 13 to 18 right now. And although they are once almost spawn killing us just about, my ghost is at 7 stats, and he just keeps going, going, going. It's getting a little tighter now. We can't bleed any more kills. Two kills difference, one kill difference. Please, guys, please! Get a kill! Get a kill! Oh my god! I need to disband werewolf, dude. That is way too powerful right now, then. That's annoying. Well, I lost my first game of the season, but it's their always... It's... It's the first game, so no sweat there. That's a rough loss. So, even though I did lose there, the thing I can look to possibly fit for the future is see who is the highest hits and like, who is the highest pits who people like, like who people on each team are using, and use that to my advantage for the future. So you can see here. Werewolf kind of took over everything, so I think the werewolf fighter combination for just disrupting everybody is real good. So I think that will probably be my first priority then. So I didn't have as coherent of an identity when it came to drafting there, I feel. I was just being reactionary to the werewolf, so I think that should be good then. Oh, I thought there's drawing more bands just outside of my games too, so stop that combination possibly too. But we'll go on from there. We are going against OGD next. Hoid Doctor. Uh, they're picking Hoid Doctor, Vampire, Shadowmancer, Illusionist. Well, we're going to see what we can do against that then. So I have a pretty front to back comp or so. I could possibly go in more on the Vampire side. So we could try that. I'll continue running my starting roster though. We'll see what we can do with this. I do think first pit werewolf try to get high working on here because considering how there's only one healing support in the game right now in shrine maiden it's a real good idea just keep my hands and tabs on werewolf so who do i not want to deal with in this case then pyromancer is pretty high on their side but i think if i'm picking werewolf first i don't want them to have played doctor so i'll take that away vampire ban that's targeted against jinbei and frogen so who do i want to target bath then archer no archer for them, I feel. They ban swordsmen, that's totally fine by me. In that case, then round one werewolf, give that to high immediately. They're taking the fighter away, so not both of the dastardly duo. Ghost. Ghost, once again, could pop off if he's allowed, uh, if he's allowed to get kills over and over again, so... Could be bad. I think... Hmm... I think not taking Shadow Mancer is kind of a throw then, because with Werewolf being able to just continue running on them, I think I do want to copy that strategy back. Executioner trying to play in into us then, that's fair. In that case then, I do possibly think Sniper is weak against Ghost because there's no way for her to peel, so Gamboy might be the better play in that case then. Might be. I do think I have to take Shrine Maiden to deal with Ghost possibly killing us over and over again. That's going to be my first round, and then I don't know what exactly what I want for my last. They banned my vampire. So annoying. I do think ha a stable marksman would be good. 
And Mystic Dancer, well... Actually, no, they have a lot of HP. So Mystic Dancer, an ADC who scales off of Matt's HP and gets uh, and deals more damage with each kill, actually could be good. So they do have healing to deal with Joe, so I think that is actually a pretty good play. Because they are a very tanky composition. I do think I still use my ultimates early to stop the ghost from scaling as much as possible here. I would like Jinbei to be our Mystic Dancer to see has the best stats and I need damage more than anything. And we'll go with that then. So main game point here. We've been picking ghost all those times before. Now we need to shut down the ghost. Now Hai is doing a real good job of just running a mutt in their backline. And I do think Werewolf is kind of busted this game so far like, like uh, this like you know like, uh game one patch like holy crap he's dealing so much damage that's a pretty good drag but we're still tied up and the main thing is ghost uh, the main thing is right ghost still has i would say no stats but that's the first stat that he's got now we are losing right now in both our ultimates and our kills now granted the damn boy ult was horrible from them but this is way too much taint and honestly the shadow mancer is kind of griefing us for our spawns a little bit on this end did I... Did that have been better? Possibly. I think their execution of Pit really screwed us up too. Because with us, I said with like my ADCs getting pulled around, my Mystic Dancer couldn't scale. So this is... This is not the best here. But I gotta learn the meta. I gotta learn the meta. It's mentality. We need to be aggressive, I feel. I feel we had a good idea there. But it just didn't work out. Everybody's doing, we're feeling pretty well, and Frogin's attack is going up too, because that was his question. So let's see what we can do with this then. Let's see what we can do. No point, Doctor. No werewolf. I am not dealing with a werewolf at all since they're on blue side. No ghost? Who's the biggest issue from them? Osprey is Shadowmancer? Uh, two of their pyro. As much as I do play pyro too, that's two of their players, and that means I can start maybe going aggro front line. So, I do think swordsman shrine maiden, shrine maiden for high swordsman just for Jinbei probably. Battle monsters there pit then. All right. I do think it is just another mystic dancer possibly. That is a high HP fighter who I could deal with. Is it Sniper, actually? What did counter me? Vampire could be a problem. Executioner would be a problem, then. Well, in that case... Actually, we take Executioner to say to Shadow Mancer, so they can't pull us around. They have missed it themselves. No answer. Hmm. Is it actually Sniper time, then? They don't have that good of a dive... Now, granted, my executioner could pull towards the sniper by accident, but also that's the same thing for if the vampire is there and it gets pulled around. So Gambor might be the better idea in that case then. Variance is just so much bigger though. I think sniper. Give give us comfort and Frogen's already got so much attack and everything too. So let's start let's lead with that. Let's don't don't use your ults early, I feel. Just do what you can, guys, and let's see what we can do. Because Jinbei is going to be the biggest crux, I feel, with possibly pulling that Mystic Dancer around. And we'll see what we can do. Because if he can stay alive, that means that's all the more room for Tanavi to continue doing work, as you can see. Because even though we do have Sniper as the main ADC, he's just shredding the, the defense of the fighters so much, and we're just able to do so much more. And granted, we are winning right now, but it really comes down to how well my sniper is able to do such as that three man ult, which is fantastic. We're ahead on the old front right now, but with them, with that Shadow Mancer spawning in, we are staggered on our respawns, and sniper to just keep dying over and over again. Ah! I'm gonna lose 2 0 again! This hurts, dude. This hurts. Archer maybe could have tried it around, but Shadow Mancer just Shadow Mancer in high front line. I don't have a way to deal with that. Ah, I'm 0-2 starting off. That hurts a lot. That really freaking hurts. I'm going to bomb out of the amateur lead again. 
Serious problems have been detected in the Fallen Champion. He's been globally banned in this week's matches. Wow, that's hilarious. You're in point, Dr. High. That's pretty nice to see, honestly. I do think you need to train up the Werewolf, most importantly, though. That is the biggest thing that we need you to work on. And more training points for everybody. So everybody can at least continue to work on more of their champions or more of their base stats. I more attack, I feel. Kanavi... Get that Shadowmancer up. I feel like that is actually way too good to pass up right now with how much of a problem that was causing us. Yep, we're in a new character. I'd like your vampire to possibly go up. Alright, so we've trained both up together. Jinbei, your executioner could be good. I need that Mystic Dancer, I feel. I need a new champion from you. This is rough, everybody. Now, loud. Bard, Mystic, Vampire, Fighter. Where are they in the rankings? They're 1-1. This would be great for me to pull me up. I really do think. Rotten's feeling a bit down. That's alright. Put Kaiser in. Let's, let's go for a Mystic Dancer Angel then. Hmm. Now, the, pit, the pits that they use really don't match exactly you know, what their comfort is. But we'll, we'll see what we can do here. We are red side, so I don't want to deal with the werewolf, please. No plague. That's fine by me. No Shadowmancer? No Shadowmancer. I don't want to deal with that. Your round one is going to be fighter, just like I thought. Now, there's no swordsman, which does suck, of course. This here is banned out, and that is pretty much actually thinking about it. That's right, the only front line left, so that is kind of a problem. I do think it's probably Executioner, then. Missed it, Executioner. Sniper. You're picking Sniper, eh? I'd love to pick Ghost, then, to deal with the Sniper, but Fighter... Kind of hurts against the ghost. Uh, hmm. I'm not necessarily going to outrange him, but that is the only other assassin's left. Ghost for Kanavi, possibly? Because Jinbei's going to have to rot the executioner. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Shrine Maiden for high. Let's start with that, and then we'll round out our composition. Okay, well, in that case, then, with the Vampire on the table, I do think it possibly would be a Archer Angel. Archer Angel. To deal with them better. It's either that, or it could also go Bard. This is tough. I don't know exactly. Bard does shut a good amount of them down. It's either two on twos. So I think it might be good. Just go, uh, just go all in on Mr. Dancer. Let's try it. Mr. Dancer, Kaiser, Jinbei, Executioner, High gets su uh, high support, and then Kanavi is our bard. Let's let's go with that and let's see how it goes. Main thing here, Mr. Dancer needs to just get as many stats as possible with the uh, with uh, with uh, their chakrams. Now that is way too far forward, but then again, once their front one's gone, you really can't do too much there. Now considering they have two ADCs, I'm just hoping for constant huts. And granted, they are using their ultimates early, so we'll see how it goes. That is a huge gambler. Oh, are you kidding me? Now, they did whiff on Fighter, and we are down five kills at the moment. But with our ults about to come out soon now, I think this is very much so doable. So let's see how it goes. Amazing bard positioning from us, and we can definitely scale with that. Yeah, look at the mist look at the Mr. Dancer stats. Holy crap, that is a lot of damage pouring through. Great stuff. Great slowdown, too. The vampire can't, can't get those kills, but it's evening out. Oh, it's a dawn. And I don't I don't know how this is going to go. Get the coffin. Get the coffin. Great stuff. Great stuff. We're down one kill, though. You can get a kill. You can get a kill. Come on. Oh, I'm so frustrated, dude. You did your best. You really did your best, dude. I, I can't do too much here. That is rough. Okay. I think it really is just a frontline aggro meta. So, if I can maybe mirror the same thing back to him. If I... What if I just ban Werewolf Swordsman and take Fighter? Or actually, I probably could have just taken Werewolf myself. Oops. Well, whatever. Take Fighter? They ban Mystic Dancer. Fine by me. 
no other front one because Oriancer is permabanned right now. Play Doctor. Got to what through Shadow Mancer. Ah, oh, shots. Play Doctor Shadow Mancer sets to go against Illusionist because I need to have an, some extra P or Executioner. Hurts. Can't pick the Batriders because they aren't going to be able to survive long enough. So honestly, I think Archer because I have to kite. And Gambor. I think I just gotta fight them with uh, fight fire with fire with my ADCs here. Ah, I feel like I have a good draft idea, and then I just get out drafted, it feels like. Jinbei on fighter, I feel. He needs to have the extra stats to actually deal damage, uh, to, to survive. Let's try this. Let's try this. Main thing here is that, like the like wherever we're being pulled, could be really deadly with executioner and void doctor. Because like if we can read if we can reach that sniper back line, I feel we're gonna start turning the tide. But well, void doctor, old. they did all wipe us, so that's just one kill a piece or so, just about. And we still have most of our ults too, which is great. Oh, baby! It's just better! It's just better at the very least! Now, granted, that wasn't the best game board ult, but we still have the great lead thanks to them burning their ultimates earlier, and we are booting them out slowly but surely. Is their back lines being separated from their front line? Oh, man, is this gonna be the first game win for Gale Force this season? Now, it isn't a set win, but this is gonna be a game win, which I will be very, very happy about. Come on, guys! Seven more seconds? Stop staggering! You need to get these kills! Get- get these kills! We're tied! Just get the Executioner! Please! Please! Survive! 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 Oh my god! It's another one gamer! It's another one killer and I'm 2 out again, dude! I'm unequivocally in last place! What am I doing wrong? They had the Jinx and dude, I don't know what I can do here. Annoying, annoying, annoying. Thanks, so I love how you always come around on my team fight manager streams. It feels like it's it's every year you've always come around at least in one of them. But oh man, dude, does this hurt? Does this hurt so much? Please. It's lost in draft. Very sad, dude. I've been struggling, but what? It's a new patch. We can do better. Bard buffs. That's pretty nice, honestly. Shine Maiden buff. Could be good. Pyromancer buff. We really didn't see too much of her. Executioner getting his attack half. That's huge. Oop. Put that over by it and by accident. A ghost, attack speed, nerfed. Fair. Mr. Dancer going from 80 to 50 HP. I don't think that's a I don't think it's an angel now. Huge hit on werewolf. Vampire got hit. Play doctor that hit. Yeah, I feel like that's very fair. Now I'm going against Mavi Star. Game Boy Mystic Vampire Werewolf. One and two. I think we can do this. I really like the Dancer Bard combo. Well, Bard got buff. Dancer, you know, it kind of is dead in the water now. I feel, unless you have a really good front line. But considering how Lancer was permabanned because of a game breaking bug, I don't think that. I, don't, I really don't know about it. I think it's going to be an ADC meta now because I rolled random champions for this soul, uh, random everything. But I balanced, you know, categories, so we'll see. This is the first patch. This is game four of my season so far. So it's still, for instance, it's still really Swordsman. He's still 100% pit ban raid right now. And the thing is, okay, Norrison was only disabled at the last game, but there's only three frontliners. So blue side, I really feel if somebody, if a ban comes through on a frontline, you, you gotta ban everybody. I was gonna say Shadow Mancer in general. I don't want them to have round one swordsman though, just because of that. I think swordsman fighter ban. I'm not gonna let them have the only front line, so I'll take away Lancer. Boy, Doctor Pit once more. Yep, that's always how it goes. Well, even though there was the nerfs, I uh, nerfed to uh, the werewolf HP. I still do think it's way too good at the moment. So I'll rot werewolf shadowmancer for the one two. Vampire. They're really going all in then on, on what's his face, on just high DPS in that case, right? Would I go illusionist to help out then? No, I need I need to rush down in this case. 
Give me Gamborn? Ghost. And Mystic. Huh. I think I could go double ADC and really screw with them, right? I think so. I'm not that confident this time around. I always feel like Shadowmancer is up in the air. Because I feel like with Mr. Dancer being down to 50 HP, I literally just need like a good roll on a Gambor hit or just an Archer auto uh, auto skill combo to kill her. So honestly, I think we're totally fine on that end. I'm going to keep Jinbei and Gambor then. For the higher highs, lower lows, I feel. And I want ults early from everybody so their ghost doesn't pop off. Let's see how it goes. I know the werewolf did get hit on his HP pretty badly, but the fact is with Shadowmancer, I'll just be able to just keep going in and in, in on them. Now that is two stats on ghost pretty early on. That's a coffin drag! That's an amazing werewolf ult! Hi! Holy crap! Amazing stuff there! And... Well, okay, that's a that's a high and a low roll and game we're old, but we are pretty ahead, okay, I say. They still have their olds, which is a scary thing, of course. So we'll have to see, because it's always played Dr. Old that really is the biggest question mark. Seven stats ghost and a 16 kill buffer. I'll have to see about it. That's only a two-man ult on the play doctor though. What? I'll, I'll have to see. I'll have to see. It's cascading because Ghost does have stats. Archer can kite a little bit. Game Boy saves Archer. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. Great stuff, guys. It is an ADC meta. It is an ADC meta. My first game win. No frontline meta is pretty weird. Uh, you have to ban frontline if you're red side, honestly. Okay, no, 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 no. The match is not over, Jinbei. Focus up, dude. You gotta focus up. Because... If you are on red side, with how the random roll went... Because remember, if you're playing with like, the base rolls... Or if you're playing with the base characters, you have knight, you have fighter, you have swordsman, you have shield bearer. You have so many people that take up the warrior slot. But in how we rolled here, we rolled pretty high on assassins and marksmen. So warriors are a hot commodity. And basically, if it turns out to where it's like two warriors are banned and you just pit blue side pit one, you just pit that with like play doctor and then you just run them over, honestly. It actually feels horrible, because that's how I've lost my first three games. I tried going Ghost ADCs, and it did not work out. So who do I not want to deal with then? Uh, No Plague, please. No Shrine. Hmm. I don't want to deal with Werewolf myself as much as I did pick up last time because all of the front uh, all of the front lines still way open right now. Swordsman, I feel, is still better over Fighter. But yeah, they're just going to take that. Actually, I should have taken it away from Azin. But no, either one of them should have had it. Alright, that's totally fine. Lancer to deal with Shadowmancer? Archer. Hmm. That two front line, get me Gambor for my ADC roll. It's not safe to take Mystic or Sniper considering their HP liability values with Shadowmancer in the midst. So honestly, it might be good for Illusionist or with Shadowmancer existing, I could also take a Ghost Angle. Even though it is Archer, it should be a Ghost Angle. What would screw me if I take Ghost? These guys are just... Well, Pyromancer could screw me, but they don't play Pyro. But even if Pyromancer's pit, they have Shadowmancer. I think Ghost is a really good force here. I have Ghost Opium because I want to greed. Sniper with Shadowmancer. I don't know about that, Chief. I really don't know about that now. Oh, Ult early once again, everybody, to get Ghost stats. And I think I think this might be my first 2-0, but let's not get talking about it. Main thing here is, once again, how Shadowmancer rolls go, how my Ghost rolls go. Now, that is one stat already. You can possibly get two. Come on, Ghost. Okay, nice try. I don't know about that Swordsman ult, though. Hi, I really don't know about that. Good lockdown, though. Good lockdown. Ghost can get his force stat. No, he did not! Just a sniper hits! That sucks! And that's a pretty low roll on, on the game board, too. Oh, low rolls all around, dude. Low rolls, low rolls. The Archer is actually a huge problem because their kiting is way too much. 
I only have the one assassin too, so I can't deal with their back line. The sniper and archer are covering each other. I really didn't expect it, honestly. I expected them to, you know, I, I, the thing is, is like, their chiding, their chiding is actually god tier, and I thought it was a hard grief because with Shadow Mancer existing, we just slowly just get to like, run over them. But the thing is, I have Lancer, not Fighter, so I don't have as much dive. Because Lancer helps with dive. Lancer helps with repelling dive, not starting dive. Eh. Uh, that's a problem. I'll give you a chance. I feel like, I feel like that's a failing on me there. I think that was Frog and said that, but then again, his mood's still down in the dumps. So maybe I should have subbed him in. But we're on red side now. No play, that's fine. I don't want to deal with fighter then in that case. No fighter, no swordsman. No werewolf. Yeah, he may get to answer, but once again, anti-dive doesn't mean much if it's ADC meta, I feel. Gambor? Alright. Get me executioner then, and... Archer probably? Yep, now he takes answer. So do I just, do I actually run it back against him, Joe Archer Sniper? He could take Joe, he could take Vampire. I think I forced his hand. Yeah, do it. Well, I kind of chose it in my mind's eye beforehand. Ghost, Shadowmancer. Bard? Question mark? Is it, logistically, who would I struggle against here? Vampire Coffin isn't as good. Because Shat- Well, no. Because Gambor and Lancer are just gonna be in the midline, but Executioner could grief me back. Shrine Maiden did get attack buffed, and I could just give that over to High, honestly. Because then that helps out with Gambor stuff, but Shadow Mancer could still run us over. But no, Executioner needs some help. Because these two guys can help peel, and then it's really just helping Executioner. So I think it is a Shrine Angel. Everybody's at least on comfort pits, and then Ghost ult early again to prevent Ghost from doing much. Because that's two, because uh, that that's two passive abilities that these characters have. So if I can just shut down Ghost early, that is the play. I need a win here, otherwise I'm gonna be 0 and 4 in this season, dude. Executioner is really just going to be pulling whatever backline I can possibly get, hopefully. And then, yep, it's really just gonna be the story of the shrine and a triple kill from Kanavi. Great stuff, people! 1 and 10! Now, that is our ults airway, but unless Gambor actually rolls way too high and destroys us, I think this is pretty good for us here. Ghost died before he could get the stack on Sniper. That's amazing, too. Now, I don't like our chiding now, but it's alright. Pretty good pull on Shadowmancer, considering they are the squishies here. And yeah, just point point kill the Shadowmancer! This is amazing! ADC meta is it! It is it! Just even if it is... Or even if, you know, like, the... Yeah, I guess the general front lines are like we're taking away. Lancer, once again, is hoping to deal away with that. Now, granted, I say that as we are staggering respawns. Guys, 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 get some kills, get some kills! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god! I hate Shadow Lancer! Why is it kicked through the game? Dude, I am 0-4 now. Oh, great. Yeah, that, that's a real nice, Jinbei. Thanks for running Shadowmancer. Dude, I am 0-4. I am... How, how low am I in the rankings? Dude, DFM and OG... Oh, dude, I am so far down. I'm gonna bomb out in the amateur league again. I need to beat DFM right now. Who do they pick? Ghost, Swordsman, Archer, Void. Copy that. No Plague. No Shadow Mancer. I'm not dealing with that. Sniper? They love Fighter up, they love Werewolf up. I feel like we just run them down. Lancer. Anti-dive. Pretty smart. Hmm. Shrine, I feel. I'll support my front line. And give it to high. 
Swordsman. I could have also just taken Swordsman from them. Ah, shoot. That's three front run from them, so Pyromancer Angel. Give Pyromancer over to Kanavi and actually let him play Pyromancer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I do think that's good. I do think that's good. All right. I think keep it neutral on our old cast. And let's lead with this, baby. I think this is a, a pretty alright draft. Because three front on them, even if you get pulled around, fact is, once the abilities start flying out, we really have a good chance to start just running them over. Now you need to su survive, Janavi! Okay, that's not the best, but it's alright, Chief. It's alright. Did they snipe is a problem? But the fact is, if, if they keep fighting in the flame strikes away, then we are going to be doing all right now that is a pretty darn good pull oh my goodness the old combination now granted the water oats weren't the best but fact is we are coming out on top at the moment and kanavi can just deal damage just keep doing damage son you are doing good good kit bat that's good kiting now i'm seeing the werewolf damage i'm seeing the werewolf health problems really come into effect but i do think with them picking triple front line me getting round four pyromancer is a huge help you are drawing so much attention kaiser thank you for that just fin finish these kills cleanly thank you thank you guys thank you we're gonna win we're gonna win a game no no don't lose focus jinbei you always get cocky and confident after one game win how many times have we lost these games after getting a win we have been shut out 0-2 twice we have been sh uh, we have won the first game and then gone one two twice we need to clean this out jinbei all right who do i not want to deal with on their side no lancer i'm blue side so i'm working to dive them no werewolf? I don't have any good plague players, but I don't have any good fighter players either. I don't want plague, I just want fighter. I just want fighter. No sniper? Totally fine by me. Give me fighter. Archer? Fair. Swordsman. Alright, understandable. In that case, then Shadowmancer? Take it away from them? Or fighter continue to be a bigger problem? Or Shrine. Shrine, guarantee high. If they take Shadow Mancer, that's on me. Well, in that case, then it's just double AD, right? Hmm. Gambor? It's a Cushioner. Swordsman is their only front line. So they really have to, so, they, so they really have to play to the bigger win condition of all right so they have to play to the win condition just run us down with shadow mancer as always but we have double ad plus shrine maiden not double ad we have um shoot i thought we had double ad well we have uh we have uh shrine maiden gambor and shrine maiden those damage buffs are pretty good on her i feel i think this is all right not as confident in this draft as the last draft, but it's alright. I think that fighter is able. Like, I think with us having two CC abilities, we're able just. To, we're just gonna slowly start running them over. It just really comes down to like who we do get hooked in. Because if that pyromancer continues to survive like this, this is going to be rough. I was really hoping for fighter to be able to do much there because my hopes was yeah we'd get kills like these amazing stuff and then we oh my god dude i literally low rolled one and one on game world but amazing stuff kaiser great stuff dude dude my fighter oh my team's fighter ultimates are actually king now granted this is exactly what i want you can see where the pyromancer dies she's just dying immediately in the middle if we can if, if we stop staggering around they're just gonna slowly they're just gonna cheat I like be like they're just gonna bleed out slowly but surely. If we can get the pyro kill, it should be close. Please get the pyro kill. Thank you. It was a little closer than I liked it to be. My first win, my first 2 0. Thank gods, guys. Thank gods. We're not moving up, but that gets us a win. It gets us a win. We're 1 and 4 now. Finally. Finally.
That has been so needed. Let's try some equipment. Every time I finish a match, I get these small materials which I can use to hopefully get equipment that'll buff up my characters. Alright, so... And the thing that's really annoying me too is that my sponsors, I gotta get a win streak of 4, and that's my first, so I really, I really gotta ride this as much as possible. I'm going against PSG Town Nets, who are 4-1. Oh, jeez, guys. Oh, jeez. Werewolf Etsy played Dr. Shrine. Is who they like to pitch. Okay. I know you guys aren't feeling the best, but I need to keep you in because of your stats. I'm sorry, guys. You have to be the starting roster. I I'd say, I really don't feel confident in like subbing in and out unless based on mood because we overlap so many of our characters. I hate Shadow though, and I see EGM has a level 6 Shadow. I don't want to deal with that crap. No, thank you. Maybe that for Ming as well. Now, I do a bit like play Doctor 3 because I want to try it out. I did Fighter, understandable. Swordsman, that's totally fine then. In that case, then what I'm looking for is double AD, so Archer into Jambor is my chance here. Ah, he took Jambor, fair enough. Am I going to think about subbing for the next one though? Probably, but I'll have to see about it. Shrine and Point Doctor is pretty good together because it sets everybody to 1 HP, but then you get the buff, so being able to heal it all back is pretty good, I feel. I don't have any front line, which is why I do think I probably have to go Executioner for this, even though his attack did get debuffed. Because he just has the HP for me to taint. Because it could be a Point Doctor and Etsy. It's either that, or I just, I just a Werewolf. Werewolf gets stunned, and then Gamble to kill. I do werewolf. I need the attack power if I'm going play doctor. Ghost. Ghost, 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 ghost. Ghost, 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 ghost. Give Jinbei the play doctor, I feel. Use your ults early, too. And what's rot with this? Round one's so hard because it's like, what character do I want? Now, I do think play doctor, as much as I have been banning them so much. I think they are still pretty gosh darn broken. Because, uh, yeah, when you get to buff up a werewolf like this, look at how much damage they're dealing, and look at that shrine ult as well. I just ran away with an 11-3 lead, and the debuff effect of 1 HP from the Play Doctor did not matter a single thing because of Shrine Maiden. Play Doctor is, like, as much as I've been going on about frontline meta, well, Play Doctor is crossfire support, but the, considering that they have, you know, like, these, like, really good health, really good attack, Amazing hit, uh, uh, amazing uh, ults and everything like that too. It is a real, uh, they are really the crux of the composition. Now I say that as they high roll in the game more ult and they are tying it up and just staggering our respawns with their own ults. Come on guys, get these chills, get these chills, get these chills. We're tied. Oh my goodness, not again, not again. Get the ghost chill. Ah! I had a good idea on draft this time! No, we gotta stay in. I'm keeping them in. I'm probably a bad coach for the team mentality, but I need to keep them in. No answer. No plague. I'm not having a round one plague. No ghost. Why are you no fighter then in that case, right? Shadow Mancer. Crazy Swordsman. Oh, yeah, three kills, and then they just staggered us with Fighter from there onwards, which really hurt. I do think Archer Swordsman's gonna be good, though. Executioner. Do I go Werewolf, then? I think I do. Or is Shrine more stable in this composition? No, no, double ADC, double ADC. Sniper. Mystic. Oh, in that case then, I think it is a werewolf thing. It's either that or I just go vampire. Vampire's attack speed got hit. But that's too super low 
eat sweet targets. I like werewolf to notably one shot the mystic dancer. Yeah, it's werewolf. It's werewolf. It's werewolf. It's a werewolf angle. It is very much the old werewolf angle. All right, let's do this thing, everybody. Let's do this thing. Come on, tie us up, please. Yes, 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 yes. Great stuff, Hyde. Great stuff. The fact that you can effectively one shot or two shot in most of these enemies is what I'm playing towards right now. They just have so much frontline damage as well. It's just an annoying thing. Swordsman's good against other bruisers, but against like ADCs or supports or so, it's not as good now. That old was kind of sus, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, our olds are kind of trolling right now, guys. Come on. Gamble roll, hi, hi, hi. That's pretty decent, honestly. That's a pretty decent gamble roll. Now, they still have their own ults. Uh, we're ahead by 10, but that, you know, like, with ults on the table, I'm not as confident. Now, granted, it's two ults, because they have two passives, but we are getting staggered, as you can see. We're getting staggered again. Shadowmancer, I should just ban Shadowmancer. I hate this champion. I hate Shadowmancer. Why don't I ban Shadowmancer? Oh, my God. Every time I think I have an idea, Shadowmancer just comes in and ruins it. Ah, ah! I don't want the perma ban Shadow Mancer. Why are we awarding the same champions, people? Great, one one attack speed. We're gonna sit on newspapers instead of chairs. You know, honestly, after our performances, guys, that's really it. That really is it. Why do you guys want to keep awarding the same champions? I'm toted. I'm a toted coach. But then again, it's on me for not banning Shadowmancer, but I want to ban these... I want to ban the front line and... Oh my god, dude. Frustration abounds. Okay. Jinbei, I think you deserve a little bit of a break. Then your mood sucks, and honestly, I can see that. As much as those stats have been carrying us, you can go, you can go ahead and go out, even if it is a overlap here. Screw Shadowmancer, I am not dealing with that crap. I'm not going to deal with Lancer, considering they have three Lancer players, and this is a play doctor angle. Hard. Play doctor me, thank you. Archer, understandable. Sniper. Okay, uh... Give me fighter, then? I really wish we had a fighter player, dude. I really wish we had a gosh darn fighter player. Oh, well. Trying and werewolf, just same thing as last time. Just run, run it through with our, uh, run it through with our point doctor. Honestly, that is literally it. Use your ults early and let's lead with this, people. What? Well, you'll be able to see how much I'm molding anyway soon enough. Uh, how good it is to see an honest game that does not have a shadow mancer. Gosh darn, I hate that stupid champion. Decent fighter old. I'm not so sure about that point doctor old, but fact is, it we still have the lead. Uh, granted, they still have all of their ults, but those are pretty sus, so I don't know how I feel about things. I really don't know how I feel about things. Uh, that's all of their ults now, and we, we aren't too staggered on our deaths, so that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent old things considered. Yes, everybody's getting buffs now. You can dive the sniper. Dive the sniper, thank you. 15 seconds left, we're ahead by three. That's a huge pull on, on our shrine, though. No, attack the sniper! They may be low, but sniper dies in two hits, people! Get the sniper or kick the archer! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Okay, it's totally fine to... Like, just, just survive, 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 Kanavi, please! Please! Just, just get a chill, then! Get a chill! Oh my god, my heart. My heart, my heart. Why do we always get... Like, why do my players always get so, so confident after we win a game? Don't get confident, people. We need, we need to keep it up. We need to keep this performance up. It's not a one and done -er. No Gambler, no Plague, no Shadow. Those are just my perma red side bands, I feel. Hey, no Shadow? I am 100% for that. Thank you. What are you throwing? I can feel that. No Fighter for the blue side. All right. Sniper. Get me. Archer, get me. Werewolf, you can still one shot sniper just about. Are you winning? Not really. Answer is annoying. Ban 
vampire. I think is the angle here. Either that or illusionist. Illusionist angle for Kaiser. That helps draw attention away from the sniper, possibly. Is there Teemo? No. Ghost. Vamp. Hmm. Swordsman then, right? Shrine? I don't know if you out-heal necessarily. Hmm. Didn't Vamp get nerfed? Vamp did get nerfed, but that was just an attack speed, not attack damage. Which is a cheat thing, because if their attack damage ever gets hit, they're dead, so they're still pretty decent. I think Swordsman. Lord Shrine? I, I already picked Illusionist because I was going for it for Kaiser's angle here. I think just keep your ults at steady, even if it is a ghost game. Because the main thing is, is like, it's it's werewolf gaming hours. Even though they picked the Lancer, Swordsman's going to keep Lancer occupied, so it's just all about our backline dealing with Lancer while werewolf hopefully dies with one of their two backliners. Now, granted, that's to miss results right now, but the main thing is sword, or, um, Ghost is not getting any of those stats right now, at the very least, it seems. Pretty decent ults all around. Uh, that is, that is a drag of all time. No, that is actually a pretty gosh darn good drag. Holy crap, hi. Holy crap, hi. I thought you were griefing with that drag, but that lasted forever. Good stuff, my man. Also, I'm so surprised that Kaiser's still alive. Okay, I had to say that, and Kaiser had to die, but this is decent. We have a lead right now, and the main thing, too, is that the Shadow Mancer is drawing so much uh, the, the Illusionist is drawing so much attention for us to slowly just start whittling them down. This is a pretty, just, good game. Even if Lancer is able to hit our frontline bat, we are just able to hold our ground, and we beat GAM Esports. They're at the top of the league with PSG, dude! We're decent. We're tied with the team crying out loud now. We're tied. I'm very happy. New champions have been added in today's patch. You can view the champions starting from the next match. Shield Bearer and Taoist. Bard buffs. Ghost buffs? Ew, what? No. Holy crap, Shrine Maiden's doing 41 attack? Dude, I'm picking Shrine Maiden every game. What the heck? Illusionist got more cooldown. Dude, that's great. Swordsman is pretty dead, dude. Shine Maiden should 1v1 Swordsman. That's pretty gosh darn destructive. Holy crap, dude. What are these nerfs? Play Doctor. Like, nerfs as in, holy crap. These are great nerfs all around. Swordsman is dead in the water. Unfortunately for him. Play Doctor. Pretty reasonable. I still feel like he's gonna be top tier. Werewolf's actually dead, dude. He's actually gone. 58 HP. You're not living past, like, two ability cast. Pyromancer? I guess? Rush down? Shadowmancer nerf? Dude, I'll gladly take whatever nerfs from Shadowmancer I can get. Fighter nerf? That's not the worst thing ever on cooldown. Okay. Shield bearer? I know what you do. What does Taoist do? Because I've never played with Taoist. Good bear is another warrior, so that's, you know, rush down meta as a possibility. Taoist. Seal an enemy, immobilizing them for a certain period of time. Cast a curse on our enemies, reversing their targets to themselves. So they, they will literally just ruin prison one enemy, and then hostile takeover and out of glass. Interesting. Interesting. So if it's like a double ADC composition I'm going against, and there's one front line, you literally just seal them, and then they die, right? 33 attack is pretty decent. That's only- No, okay, he's a support. He's not like a bruiser like, uh, like Play Doctor. Understandable. Dude, okay. Shrine Maiden and 41 attack. Ocher has 42 attack. Sniper has 40 attack. Game Boy is at 30. Shrine Maiden- If you're not picking Shrine Maiden, I feel you are griefing, dude. What is that? They- They bumped Shrine Maiden's attack two patches in a row? But dude, you can almost one-shot Mr. Dancer at 50 HP!
Okay. Marksman Champion Mastery up. Hey, I'll take it. Also, I should have been looking to recruit new uh, recruit somebody new, honestly. I should have been doing that earlier. Uh, in the meantime. Hmm. You're pretty decent pits high, but I feel you're just gonna be our shrine maiden. So I would love you to change your mastery, Jinbei then. You can just be our warrior guy then, right? Of course you have to learn fighter. Okay, well that's decent. But then again, with this cool with the cooldown nerf, it isn't the worst thing ever. So how much damage does fighter do? 10? Okay, that kinda does hurt, but it's alright. Feel good about Talus? I'll, I'll probably play him out, see how he does. If it's, like, if it's just like a one front line, I think that would actually destroy people. It's just like with Shield Bearer in, we actually have another warrior class character, so I'll have to see. I'll have to see. I only have a one streak of one. This sucks, dude. Alright, in that case, then we'll continue on this. Uh, stream for us, Omelo? When's, when's uh, your uh, Team Fight Manager run anyway, Soul? That's speed plus one, but I already have my Martsman Champion Mastery. It's Martsman meta, baby! Alright. Who do I get? Toppin. When HP is full, attack speed increases by 5, increases recovery by 10. You've got a pretty decent champion pool. I'd love to recruit you, so who would I let go in that case then? Rodin, probably. I already have overlap with Vampire and with my Sniper Pit, thanks to Kaiser. But I do think I f let go of... I do think I do let go of Rodin then, probably. Sorry, Rodin. Hello, Toppin. Now go ahead and search in case I need to... In case I need to get anybody else. This didn't work out. We got too many people playing the same roles. All right. Good on this here. Uh, Toppin, I'd like you to learn these guys. You need to buy it first. Oh, I thought you had it. Oh, well, let's say I'll look at it. Point out there for Toppin. That's not bad at all. Pretty good learning for everybody there. Meantime, then, for you, sir. Attack, defense. I do think Lancer is pretty good. Put points into your Lancer and your jam border. Wow, attack speed plus one. Thanks. Big Pomolo does not have a big streaming audience, dude. But the other two players want to train instead of stream, which I don't fault them there. But I just don't want to make them mad. So Big Pomolo, keep streaming, my dude. Keep on keeping on. Thank you for the money. Tat plus two. That's pretty decent. I think I'll put that on. And who do I get now? Loki. Play Dr. Gambler. Ooh. At that point, I'm looking at Big Pomolo or Kaiser to let go. I think Kaiser's fine for the Illusionist and Bard. I think Big Pomolo's too stacked with Kanavi and High in that case. Because Pyro could be good. But Kanavi is also a angle for my archer, I feel. Because that's just uh, so much champion overlap. But if I have Big Pomolo in, then that means High could also go- well, Actually, no, Werewolf sucks now. Hey, I think I'll let go of- Well, no. Ah. I don't want to let go of either of them, necessarily. Pomelo, you, you've, you've been streaming this whole time anyway, dude. It might be better to let you go, but having two Shrine Maidens would be pre a pretty good boon. So actually, Kanavi, I'll let you go for now, sir. And I will take you, sir, Loki. Put into your team. Just having a play, uh, somebody can play Play Doctor and Gambler. That's actually so huge, it feels like. 
Wait, for Moa, you can keep streaming as our team's resident streamer. Y you tried, sir. You tried. Assassin Champion Mastery? I think just the attack plus two raw is pretty good for us, though. So. Alright. Off seasons. Okay. I will put everybody on the roster, of course. That's speed plus one. Well, thanks. Thanks. And I want you to earn another champion as well. Good stuff. Now we're going against anyone's legend. This is second round Robin. I need to I need to put myself out of last place. Anyone's legend is three and four. Werewolf, Swords, uh, Shadow, Sniper. Well, new meta. We'll see how it goes. New meta, new patch, everything like that. So who do I want in then? Kaiser, go ahead, take your break, dude. Toppin, let's try out our new roster then. Let's try out our new roster. Our new roster moves made during the midpoint of the season. No answer. No Shadow Mancer, please. No Executioner. Do I ban Archer? Get it away from them? Probably. Shield Bearer Pit. Get me Shrine Maiden, so I feel she's going to be uber busted right now. And play Doctor. Because we have a Loki who can flex... No, you can feasibly flex onto either of them, I feel. Gambor, I think, goes hard. Vampire does suck. Go against, I feel, but we'll see how it goes. They put Taoist. All right, we'll see how Taoist does then. Is he ranged? Yes, he is ranged. I know Pyromancer did just get nerfed. But that is one of the few sources of AoE in the game right now. No front going? I have played Doctor. There's no I, I could take Swordsman, but his attacks in the dumps. So play Doctor buffs really don't help him. I think it's just better because Shield Bearer is just going to deal damage is just going to reduce damage altogether. His vampire is gonna be diving, so I think it's Pyro Angle then. Alright, let's see how it does. Cause they put the two new champions, Taoist and Shieldbearer. The main thing is they're gonna be super slow and Point Doctor, I just want him buffing up my bat line here. Because with them all together, like just grouped together, yeah, well Pyromancer should survive. I feel like they'd be going hard. Now granted, we are getting a lot down. That ta okay, yeah, that is a that lockdown lasts forever. Holy crap, Taoist. Yeah, I can see why you're high on that now, Soul. I really do see the benefit to Talus. Uh, granted, that is kind of a hard grief. And that is an amazing play old. Not only saving lives, but turning it all around. And holy crap! High game we roll! Oh, this game just turned all around on its head, baby! Holy crap, is that huge! Uh, granted, the Talus is doing exactly as advertised. I only have my one front line, so it's taking care of the play doctor as much as possible. But fact is, like, we just rolled better on our ultimates. We, like, like legitimately, that game war ult really went hard. And holy crap, Loki. Thank gods I added you to the team. What an amazing play, Dr. Ultimate, dude. Holy crap. That was good. That was good. I feel that towers should be better, not just, uh, not only against, uh, and not only against Frontline, but, uh, Assassin. So it's like if a werewolf, if werewolf was good meta. Shrine also pulled there. I mean, Shrine or Shrine Point Doctor is still so busted, dude. Because when when your ultimate drops you to 1 HP and you have the only healing champion in the game, it's pretty insane. No Shadow Mancer. I don't care if that got nerfed. I am not dealing with that crap. Mm, no Fighter? That's alright by me. Get rid of... Lancer. I'm leaving it open for them to where it's I don't want to ban Point Doctor and then you know, it's Shrine Maiden's taken off the table, for instance. Mystic Dancer and Vampire. What the heck? Well, I'm getting my combo first and foremost. Shield Bearer. Dude. Werewolf Angle. Legitimately. Werewolf Angle and then Gambor me. Archer made sense. 
Go to realize the, the shrine buff. Dude, I would, I would, what? I need all the momentum I can get. And if people don't realize how good shrine is right now, I will gladly take that to the moon and back. Yeah, alright, let's roll with this, let's roll with this. Because fact is, like, when I am dealing, when Shrine Maiden's dealing this, like, one less damage than Archer in the meta, like, holy crap, like, what? Like, it was really just a Gambler auto and a Shrine auto. Killed the Mystic Dancer, and that was it. And they are using their ultimates early, which is pretty nice for me. Now, the only concern that I have is this Shield Bearer taunts when we... Oh! Oh my goodness gracious! Holy crap! Amazing Werewolf Ultimate by Jinbei! Cancel the Shield Bearer ult, and then we immediately get our Shrine Maiden... Uh, Shrine Maiden uh, play dot the combination right afterwards! Holy crap, dude! What an amazing combination! You guys! You just shut down all my fears! What a great job! Now, we are starting to slowly bleed our lead a bit. So this is a little scary. Because we can't get onto their bat line. But it's alright. Alright, just stabilize, stabilize. Yep. Get get their ADCs. That's pretty good. And th this is way too much of a gap. Thank goodness. Yeah, the werewolf actually melts so fast. It's, it's literally like old school Kha'Zix from lead. So, it's either you... Or do they see you? Yes, you die. Do they not see you as Kha'Zix? No, then they die. <laughs> Holy crap, we're... We're actually doing okay. That's a UFO mouse for one attack. I would gladly take that, guys. I would gladly take that. We are on a two-win streak. We're going against LGD, so... Well, I know who I'm manning then. I see Shadow Mancer on there, and I don't like it. LGD is fifth place. We moved up to third... I mean, we moved up from eight to six it's all right it's all right it's all right i have my grip on the meta and if the other if the other players aren't feeling it well that's on them if the other teams haven't figured it out that's on them this is my comeback art this is my comeback art actually no mystic okay whatever no shadow mancer eight dealing with that i don't want them having round one played so if they take shrine maiden that's whatever but i am not having round one played taken yeah, okay, they understood the assignment then. So, what is the counterpoint to Shrine? I think double AD is honestly fine with me. Does Fighter Nurse, nurse kind of go hard? I think Gambor is a must pitch for me, though. Gambor is 1000% a must pitch. Is that? I think Gambor Archer is fine, and then I'll figure out my front line from here. Fighter is still selected. Lancer is fine, honestly. Sniper. Shield bearer. Is it another pyro game then? His werewolf is not going to get to the back line with this composition at all. Pyro, possibly? Try that. Illusionist does draw some more attention away. Hmm. I think it's gotta be Pyro, because they need to deal with them two, possibly. Jewel Bear is not moving anywhere. Get Loki on his comfort right there. We're all right like right that. And yeah, we'll roll with this. We'll roll with this composition. I'm not too confident, but I'm hoping that, like, you know, like, yeah, Pyro can live long enough to actually use her ability. Now, she did not at all there, so that sucks a lot, but it's whatever. That fighter is still alive. Yeah, they got round one Shrine Maiden. I was hoping that they wouldn't respect it, but they did. It sucks. And, okay, Pyro is dying way too fast. Decent stuff. Great ults. And then we have Gambor, who got double zeros on his ultimate. Gambor, hello? Hello? What? I know that the ones are possible, but you legitimately roll double zeros? Hello? I mean, we were already losing because they have better front run presence and also Shrine Raiden's kind of busted. But what the heck was that? Loki, I can't blame you there because it's in the title, it's Gambler. But my goodness gracious, was that atrocious? Still issue? I hate it here, dude. I don't want to lose my win streak either, please. Gambor. Actually, I probably should, should, should have swept the... I should have swept the Void Doctor for him. It's alright, run it back, run it back, guys, run it back. 
It's true, Shadowmancer. Weigh the dice better? Yeah, I don't know about that. No fighter, I feel. Alright, round one shrine. That's easy enough. Did Zuri just start shrine or plague? It took Mystic. It took Gambor away from me. That hurts. Well, uh, shrine plague. Easy enough. Vampire? Alright, werewolf angle. Like, literally, that's so easy, I feel. Is it actually Taoist then, or do I have enough damage? That was just screws with them. Um. I just don't want them to have Taoists is the main thing that I'm thinking of here. Yeah, we take Taoists. It's, uh, it's all right. It's all right. Use your ults early, everybody, and let's rock Poid uh, uh, Shrine Maiden. Actually showcase why it's so stupid. Oh my goodness. All right, the werewolf actually almost one-tapping people is hilarious in retrospect, dude. It's actually so funny to see. That is not a good play, Dr. Ultimate. Hello? I do not appreciate that at all. That's a pretty good drag, though. We we need to compound this advantage, though, because that's literally all of our ultimates. Okay, great stuff. We are staggering them out. A 10 to advantage. We love to see it. Holy crap. Yes! Let the werewolf reign! The HP buffs, you know, like, the HP nerfs were a problem, but the fact is, is, like, he's an assassin anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. If he, like, he's going to kill or be killed, and quite frankly, he is killing this game. Yes, 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 baby. The tower's also watching on the vampire and making, certain, uh, making it so that they literally cannot do anything. It's actually pretty huge, too. Did you want, <laughs> he literally just... He would have just cast it in the coffin, and then the vampire got to do nothing that game. Holy crap, that's hilarious. That is hilarious, dude. Good stuff. No, we had we had more luck that match, considering that their game board didn't get to do any good rolls. I don't see why people are high on Mystic Dancers, though. That HP nerf really destroyed her. No game board, no Shadowmancer, please. No archer. Here's the thing, though. If I don't pitch shrine, they could pitch shrine. But then what would I want in exchange, then? I would take... Shield bear... Shield bear... And shield bear point doctor, then, right? And then they'd possibly take pyromancer and deal with us. Or lancer. Or Etsy. Ban Lancer, see if they take Shrine. They took it before. I'm disrespecting them straight up on it. They took Fighter. All right, Shrine played. I was taking a risk there, so I was seeing what could happen. Taoist again, honestly, against a Vampire. Mystic. Etsy. Dude, why again? I'm I'm taking Werewolf. I'm already running back my same composition. I have so many question marks, but it's all right. Uh, oh, it's early again, and we'll just do this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. Good stuff. Pretty decent start. We're 1 3. Now, main thing is that Vampire is not able to do anything. He's either got a regen or he's just dying. Good drag from there. We are just going to get all our health back, and yes, run away with it. Run away with it. Please, 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 please. I require Discord DMs. I see that. You want to jump in a uh, voice call after my stream, by the way? Because I'm ending in like 20 minutes, and then I can watch you play. That is it, that is great, dude. The, uh, the Lucio Ball Lucio World Cup. Lucio Ball World Cup. Oh, throwback soul. Holy crap, dude. Anyway, uh, back to the match. I didn't even pay attention to their ults, but, you know, they literally just want us to run back the whole draft. They picked Missed It again. I don't see the appeal in Missed It. Look, Ning has died seven times. I really do not see the appeal in Mystic if they're leaving Werewolf up. Like, and what's with Vampire too? I don't see the appeal in Vampire. I really do not right now. I'll take the win. Thank you. And that is a pretty decent start. 
We are in fourth place. We jumped ahead. Two places, dude. They were far buff? I can see that. Oh my god. I no. Shadow is a 100% like 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 I am never taking Shadow Mancer in any game, guys. Cooldown by 2%? I think the attack buff's better. Why do people want to pick up Shadow Mancer so much? No. Just train up your game board and play Dr. Loki. Okay, I'm going against Wow, who I just passed in the standings, I think. Vamp, Lancer, Fighter, Sniper. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. Mmm, well, I still don't like Shadow Mancer at all, ever, so I'm just taking that away. No Mystic, okay. Uh, get rid of Lancer, I feel, from their side. No Archer? Well, Shrine pitch. Shrine's just as good as Archer, if not better. Let's be real here. It took Gambor, understandable. Vampire again? Oh my goodness, people. I don't see the appeal. I still do not see the appeal. Alright, just just my standard four pits, and we're just gonna run away with it. I feel, I really feel this is just the meta. It is literally the meta to run. Uh, granted, with Shield Bear in the midst, that is going to be more annoying because we don't have as much straightforward damage presence to get to the Gambler. And that is causing a problem right now. Great drag, dude. Oh my goodness. The ults from you guys are amazing all the gosh darn time. Now, granted, that Gambler ult really did kind of put things, you know, like in an even state considering you're old 99 on attack value. But it's alright. Werewolf is getting to run Havoc right now. Werewolf is running Havoc. He's just gonna keep just... <laughs> nice try, nice try, nice try. Gambler's at 1 HP. Gambler's at 1 HP. The Shrine Maiden is just 1v1ing the Vampire, dude. That is so hilarious. Now, granted, she, she did just blood. That's a good ultimate choice from them. We need to, we need these kills. We need these kills. We need these kills. Kill the Gambler, please. Kill, kill, kill the Gambler. Hey, we need to kill the Gambler. Kill the Gambler. Thank you. Oh, it's going to come down to it. It's just going to come down to the wire, and we're going to lose because the Werewolves at no HP. Oh, that Vamp. Okay, well, the Vampire actually hitting the Shrine Maiden really sucked right there because then we... She couldn't heal anything. I see that now. I really do see it. I am seeing. I am seeing the Gambler World meta, and the, the Gambler World, the Vampire World meta. All right. So who do I not want to deal with then? No Mystic still. Still eight Shadow. That is still my perma ban. I never want to play with this character. No Shrine. No play. No vamp. I'll respect ban the vamp. Sniper? Give me Gambler then? Give me play. Archer. Dude, fighter me? It's too bad line. Shield bearer. Lancer. Hmm. Hard? These two peel for each other. Etsy might be good. But I'm watching damage profile except from Gambor. Uh... Pyro. Pyro, pyro, pyro. I couldn't think about it. I couldn't think about it. Dude, I could lose my three win streak on this, which would really freaking suck. Alright, it's okay though. I think we just keep it stat standard. Let's have a clean game on this end. Like, like, the thing is, like, I just want to be able to deal with their shield bear and start getting through to their bat line. Because I'm really just relying on point doctor buffs to just out DPS their bat line. But this is going to hurt a little bit. Now that is early ults from them and they did stat a lot. That is 6 kill deficit. But I think this is I think this is doable. I think this is doable. Decent pyro ult. It lets us start getting the advantage. And now we got we gotta run over them right now. 
pretty good gambler old I will I will say that brings things up to even but I don't think even's gonna cut it hmm I should have gone with more dive possibly the double ADC is too much oh my three win streak dude no no I did grief the draft there I did grief the draft ah okay that's shield bearer did too much work against me. Darn it, dude. My standings, my... Ah! Yeah, that's excruciating, dude. That is excruciating of a loss. New Pats. Shrine Man attack speed down. She's still gonna be good, I feel. Tower's cooldown. Eh. Swordsman got an a, a, almost double attack speed, almost, it feels like. Dude, Werewolf, what are they doing buffing his attack? Pyro attack buff, that's good. And then they restored Mystic Dancer's HP. Shadow Answer too, but I'm just banning her anyway. Oh man, dude. My my wind streak, my wind streak. Man, dude, no. I could have had my sponsor and everything. I have to win all of my games from here on then, dude. And I didn't check out Mavi Star plays. Oops. Alright. Let's try again, everybody. Let's try again. Still eat Shadow Mancer. Not dealing with that crap. No illusionist. I don't want to deal with a vampire, possibly, then. Because that did counter my shrine. Well, it got rid of shrines. So what's the next best pick, then? Archer is still pretty good, I feel. I also think Jambo is just solid. Hmm. Give me Archer. It's just a solid round one pitch. I take Gambor. Understandable. Shield Bearer. Is it actually a Mystic Angel now? Does Mystic can survive? Missed it for my ADC choice instead of Sniper. It take Plague. So it is Lancer Pyro then, right? Or Bard? Lancer Bard for Mystic support. Etsy. It could have been a Pyromancer angle too. Oh, it could have been. Oh! Now let's see how it goes. I'm... I'm struggling for my confidence, I feel. Hoping that we can get the kills, because the main thing is, so like, Bard's really gonna help out with them being all bunched up together, but I'm really, I'm really starting to feel that issue as well of the Mystic Dancer range being so short. Great skill use, though, Bard. Because that's the same range as, as the Shield Bearer, so they are actually getting hard griefed on their ability to kill, and that is great stuff! Yes, not the shield bearer bat to lock them down. Great stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, the bard goes hard. Now, we gotta survive the 15 seconds here. That's pretty good ult for them. That's a pretty good damn war ult for them. Just weather the storm, ladies and gentlemen. Weather the storm. You're doing great. You're doing great. That is a good, good run. Please. I'm gonna say that when we have a 8 to lead, but I like my heart rate's never gonna go down, dude. I always use Bard whenever I played this. Bard, it's like Bard hasn't. So I'm playing with uh, insane amount of patches, and it's real nice considering how it is an ADC meta right now. It's just that it's, it's really hard to justify because a lot of people have been super high on Werewolf and Vampire, respectively so. But like, Bard hasn't been touched, and considering it's either ADC meta. So it helps out ADCs and means I can deal with heavy frontline like that. It's not that bad at all. Now, no illusionist. What do I not want in the dead? I really would still love Shrine Maiden, but do I risk them picking Shrine Maiden first round? I don't think so with me in the lead of a game. I don't want to throw a game with how good Shrine is. Play Doctor again? Well, in that case, I actually do think Lancer Archer is going to be fine. I could just do Mystic to deal with it. They take Mystic. 
They choose Mystic, eh? They choose Mystic Dancer. I can still two shot with Werewolf, just about. But I don't I still don't have too much support on that end, so what do I exactly want to do? Void Doctor already does stuff to go against. I do have a Lancer to peel away for the front line in that case. I still actually no Bard did get buffed, so I think I would start with that for the archer support, and I'll see who they el who else they want to pick. Wow, that is a full front line run, aren't they? They just want to run us over, dude. They don't have AoE. Mystic Dancer does counter Shield Bear just based off Matt's HP. Is it really just a kite and forget comp? Because Pyrrhon, even though you did get buffs, it still sits six seconds until your Pyro Spirit, and you're not going to survive until then. Etsy doesn't help as much as I'd like. Do I legitimately just go Taoist and just try to slow down their assault? I think I do, actually, because if I lock that, uh, just, uh, you know, it turns any 4v3, a 4v4 into a 4v3, and with all of them just trying to get in my face, if I can just have Lance to keep peeling back for us, I think that's a pretty decent draft. Yeah, I think that's pretty decent, all things considered. Let's do it. Now, it really just comes down to how much pressure Toppen can, uh, can absorb for us. Is if he can, yeah, if he can, like, peel them back like that, and we can get some good bard skill hits right, uh, right, right there, we are going to really start scaling. Because as many times as we can just lock down a key member of their offense, especially when the Poid Doctor, oh, uh, uh, Poid Doctor buffs start coming out, that is real good for us. And the launder, we can keep our HP like this as well, that is great stuff. Such that we, you know, the towers kind of grieved our bard there, but it's alright, it's alright. Respawn boys, we need to make use of this bard buff. Okay. Well, this is a hard this is a hard grief. This this is a hard grief. Point doctor's too much. Point doctor's too much, dude. Yeah, Lancer couldn't do as much. Right, he's better of course with another, but I was really hoping that with Talus we could slow down the point doctor. Nah nah, but bo both Shrine and Point Doctor are way too good. You did your best, no, you, uh, uh, you did your best there, but I, I don't want Shadowmancer 3, so I can only ban so many characters. Alright, so who am I not dealing with here? Still no Shadow. Hate Shadow so much. No answer. Get rid of Shield Bearer, in my opinion. Or, well, Vampire to protect my Shrine Maiden if they want it through. Ban Archer? Okay, Shrine, first round one. Shrine on one, Mystic Dancer again, Shield Bearer again, in that case then. They do have two Shrine Warriors too, yeah, but on blue side, so it's on them. In that case then, Point Dot, then honestly, I could just run, never mind, they took Gambor. So in that case then, I, I think it is just the old school Werewolf Taoist again. Werewolf Taoist, Werewolf Taoist. Yeah, let's let's do that. Ults early so we can just snowball an advantage. And let's clean this out and keep my sponsor hopes alive. That shield bearer does set the go against. Once again, we have a shrine maiden. And if we can, yeah, if we can do... Th oh, actually, that's a that's actually negative synergy. If Taoist hits the shield bearer... Uh, if Taoist hits the shield bearer, his aura is still there. Yeah, that's actually really negative synergy. Holy crap. Now, our ultimates, I don't think they were the best right there. We only have a lead of five... After that, no, especially with how squishy Werewolf is, we need to have a bigger lead. Now, this is this is decent. We're still trading kills back and forth before the ultimates come back around on their side. It's just that, you know, we used early, so if Werewolf does... Uh, sorry, so if uh, Shield Bearer does get something good, we'll have to see. We're still ahead. Their ults are gone, and that was crucially... Okay, no, the fighter ult was still there! No, God, no! Ah, oh, shoot, dude. Ah, oh, shoot. No, my sponsor hopes and dreams! Fuck, oh, dude. I'm 7th place, and I'm not gonna fulfill my sponsor obligations. You don't have to tell every time I have an excruciating loss, newspaper. I know! It hurts of me a lot! Oh my god, dude. I, I just need to make it the playoffs, dude.
I have three games in the regular season, and I need to make it to the playoffs. Take, take your break, Jinbei. Take your break. Having a flex of a shrine so that high could actually play werewolf, I think, would be a good key here. I think Shield Bear is just doing way too much against us. As much as I am respecting Vampire, it's not as popular, I feel. Takes L's of her life. I've taken way bigger L's, I feel. They take Plague, understandable. They take Gambor Nest. Uh, uh, Archer. Trying Archer, way too good. Etsy. Bard me? And... Answer me, I feel. I just need a front one. Yeah, I just need a front one for answer. Illusionist. Oh, see. Oh, see. I want to have my flex with high. Both, both of my guys are going to be able to do things there then. I'm going to pray that they don't play Dr. Old early and I can actually get my, you know. That's the main key here. That's the main key. Good bard hits there. Good bard hits. Yes, bard old early. Just get that going and we just need to we just need to keep this up. Good stuff. Good stuff. Great push bat. We can just work with this. We can work with this. Doesn't matter. Okay, that's a good point save. Low roll. That's a pretty low roll in the jam board too. We just need we just need to weather the storm on this. Is they're just gonna bleed out due to having no healing? And we have a pretty good advantage going into this. Good push, good push. Keep trying alive, keep trying alive. Amazing bard dude. Holy crap, Loki. Your bard is amazing. How come you have no mastery on this champion? How come you have no mastery on this champion, dude? Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Oh, oh. I feel that Shrine is also just way too good of an option to be able to soak up so much damage too. But that was just a pretty clean, pretty treating draft all around. Keep your mentality even, everybody. Come on now. We gotta keep it up. We gotta keep it up. Alright. No Shrine? That's fair. You're on blue. No Shrine? I will respect that. No Plague. No Plague, please. What are you taking? Archer? Alright, I'll match you with my own Gambor then, I feel. Gambor Bard. That means you can't take too much front line then. Our answer's still fine, I feel. Yeah, that, or I could take Werewolf. Not Werewolf, uh, Vampire. Uh, get, get me an answer for support, and then I'll go Shield Bear last, probably. Illusionist, yeah, Shield Bear last is what my game board really take care of it, then I feel. Cause, well, it's only, it, this shouldn't be my game board, it's my only source of damage, then it feels like. But Shield Bear will just do way too much work for them. Uh, way too much work, anyway, I feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll react with this. We'll react with this. Yeah, just attack fast. Oh, I don't know about that bard ability, though. It's alright. Yeah, when they're in range, it really starts to hurt them. Good stuff. Lower roll on the gambler side of things. Plus, a lot of that hit the bard, but it's alright. Alright, we're even... Okay, we're... Even enough on old cast, I say. That's a pretty good archer so That that's a pretty good archer so That's pretty decent. And we still have a huge lead going into this. Shield bear, you are attracting so much attention. Thank goodness for that. No, I need my gambler alive, please. You need to deal with the archer now. Now. Deal with the archer. Where is the attack on the archer? Hit Portia! Hit Portia, please! Hit Portia just once in your life! He's at one health! Just hit him with a chip! What are you doing? Hit Portia! Thank you. Goodness! I mean, we were still winning then, but my- just- he didn't want help! Thank gods! Thank gods, dude. Okay, sits place. We are tied. We can make this back. We are- 
almost at the end of the season, but we can make this batch. I need to beat Mavi Star. Do I have a game against them? No, I have it's PSG and Gam, dude. The my fate could be out of my hands. I still just gotta do what I can and win these though. I gotta win what, what I can. PSG likes to pitch. Played Fighter Etsy Lancer. Okay. I think that's doable. I think having my Shrine Maiden Flex is pretty good though. I'll hold on to that. Uh, no Shadow still. I hate Shadow. I will ban Plague. They take Shrine. I still have my Gambor Bard. Yep. Gambor Bard. That's how it goes. Taoist. Okay. I feel sh Shield is fine in that case then. They take Lancer. They take Illusionist. Hmm... <laughs> Mystic, maybe? I think this is a Mystic angle. Hmm. I think it is a Mystic angle, very much so. Because she'll be in range of the shield bearer is the main thing. So, like, well, hi, we'll be in range of the shield bearer the whole time when autoing. So even if the Taoist lots either of them down, we'll be able to just keep hitting, hitting over and over again, and we can hopefully keep stealing our advantage. You rolled zeros again, and I barred just. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. That is a huge grief on all of our ultimates right there, dude. That is a huge grief. Our board all got to do nothing there. What was that? What was that actually? Now granted, okay, hi, you are popping off. You've been sealed and this really hurts our chances of you surviving. But that was decent. But no, they have ultimates. We don't because we griefed that was hard. Oh, goodness gracious. That really hurts our chances of winning, dude. Now it's not over yet. We can do this thing. We can do this thing that Illusionist is just causing so much pressure. It, 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 he's actually so much pressure because we can't hit their front line. Yes, please, please, get the kills, get the kills! Just kill, kill the towers, kill the towers, kill the towers! Kill the towers! Oh my no! The illusion has turned too much attention away! Dude, this could actually be my season gone if I lose this. Coffin, you are down in the dumps, dude. You need to take a break. No shadow, stole my perma. I hate shadow so much. No shrine, they already took it away. Well, in that case, then I don't think it's a play doctor angle. No archer. Bard me first. Tau. Shield. Mystic me. That does move up Gambor, but I think it's more important to get the Mystic. Then what I do after that... Lancer Pyro? Probably then? No, I need, I, I need to draw their attention, so Illusionist. Lancer... Mmm. Lancer. I don't feel as confident in Etsy. Well, they take Etsy then. Ah, dude. Ah, dude. I don't know about these. I don't know about these always. If I lose this, I could be stuck in the amateur league for another season, which would hurt my mental so badly again. We'll see how it goes. Main thing is, will my Mystic survive? Well, they did not right there, but it's alright. It's alright. Main thing is, is that we we need to have good ults this time. Those are pretty decent ults. 
Yes, let missed it start popping off. Let missed it start popping off. Yes, nine kills. M missed it, you are still alive at two stats. That's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. No, fall bat, fall bat. Play, play front to bat. Let our lancer do some of the work. Chill the gambler. Thank you. Chill the gambler. All right, low rolls, low rolls, low rolls. Why do they get such good rolls on their damn worlds? Come on! Why, why do I get double zeros and then they get decent hits at the very least? Like, come on, people! Please, please. Missed it, missed it, missed it, missed it. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Overtime, please, no! Mavi Star won their game as well. Oh my goodness, dude. This season's actually dead in the water. Ah, fuck! Fuck! I. Well, this is just right season two, everybody. From humble beginnings, they start. But at the same time, it's just. Oh. Ah, uh, this sucks. Get the shield bear out of here. Season three? Yep. I mean, that's how it's going right now. Uh, no Tau. No Tau. I'm leaving Shrine Raiden up, but that's because if they take Shrine Raiden, I get double ADC. It's an even enough trade, I feel. Fighter? All right. Bard me. Maybe I'm in debt some too hard into Bard, but I feel I'm okay with him. I actually feel I'm okay with Bard. Etsy. Etsy me. Use your ults early still, I feel, though. I still think it's fine, too. Yeah, Vampire can just go on to Bard, which does kind of hurt, but the fact is, like, we'll just be able to just front to bat better, I feel. Great, great Archer ult right there. Did we just zero again? That's the third time we've gotten zeros on the Gamer ult. Loki, what is going on, dude? What is legitimately going on with your ults? Are they that trash or are you trash? I might as well let you go, because I got... I, d I brought you into the team for your play doctor and your game board. Quite frankly, we don't always get play doctor, but your game board really freaking sucks sometimes, dude. Good hook, good hook. Nice try. Dude, that shrine is actually still way, way too good. I am so, so salty, dude. I am constantly salty. Please, just get the kill on the shrine. Get the kill on the shrine. Oh my god, dude. How do you roll zeros three times in the stream? Pull yourself together, people. Pull yourself together. Oh my god. Stop and get, get back in the roster for us. I feel I could use an oh answer pitch. Ah. Oh my god, dude. I hate everything. I hate everything right now. Not nah, screw it. I'm I'm not running Gambor through. I'm sick of this Gambor pit being an actual huge liability in Loki's hands. I'm not gambling for crap. Give me Archer. They took Tau. I wanted to get Tau. Darn it. Uh, in that case, then. I do think Bard's fine, honestly. I don't think Shield Bear is the point necessarily, but it does draw Fighter's attention completely. Draws Fighter, draws Tau, and then lets me deal damage. I think that's fine enough. Not to answer Angel. Not to answer Angel. I said I need a Lancer, but I would. And then I just chose not to pick a Lancer, even though I could give it the top end. But. Uh, I don't know, dude. Don't use your old Sarah I feel this time. Ugh, that hut does hurt. 
but it's all right. It's all right. We have healing. We have better healing on our side, and we have just a better Batwan presence altogether. So even if you do hook in, yeah, Shield Bear just draws the attention away. Because Fighter, he does CC. Executioner, he does CC, but they don't have damage. It's just really Vampire, and we can just heal, or we can just heal the Vampire damage through. Yeah, great stuff, guys. Great stuff, actually. Full almost shutout. Now just respawn, everybody, please. Please respawn. Do some good work. Shield Bear's just gonna run the towers down. That's hilarious, dude. That's actually hilarious. And the Bard hits are so good to prevent the Vampire from killing any of my Batline. This is actually just a great, just great draft by me. Now, granted, Shield Bear is kind of griefing, but just attacking the Vampire Coffin now. But it's alright. We, we're ahead enough that they can't get us. Thank gods they can't get us. No, you're doing you're doing well, my son. Be confident in your plays. Please do. You want taint OP and Bard OP? It's just real nice because like, the, like with the random draw, we don't have ninja, so we don't have to worry about that. And werewolf's HP is way too low to really dive anybody, so it's pretty alright to just go yeah, ADC meta, like I've said before. They took Archer. I can't let them get Shrine at all. Shrine is way too good right now. Gambler, honestly? I think it is a Shield Bearer game. I think Shield Bearer Fighter is good. Let's put say, I was doing about having a Lancer, but I didn't know about it. Mystic? Mystic Angel? Or Vampire? Vampire Angel, probably, right? Or Illusionist, too. I need damage, and that's my way to get onto the back line of Gambler, so I, I'm going Vampire. Tau. Mystic. Yep. Is it actually Sniper, then? I need an ADC. Well, I don't necessarily need an ADC, but that would greatly help, because the Lancer can't really do too much against it. Shield Bearer is going to be there. I mean, I could just do Bard, but then that doesn't help me out, because these guys' damage are atrociously low. Bane's fine, because Sniper can't get marked and locked down by Talus. I think that's all right. I think that's all right. Let's try it. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. I'm like, I want to commentate more about my thought process here, but I'm just so constantly nervous because of my season chances and how in jeopardy that they are, that it really doesn't feel that good. Talus kind of did hard grief them there, freezing my sniper that they couldn't get the kill, funny enough. Hi, Scyther. Things are not going well for me right now, but I'll comment on that later. The main thing is I need this Talus to die. Please, just hit hit the Taoist. If the okay, that didn't taunt the Taoist. You are still out of range. The oh my goodness, the old troll do ultimates. The old troll do ultimates so hard. Oh no, it's in the gutter. The old troll, it's so gosh. Ah, oh, my season, my season's in the dumps, dude. I say that as we're only one troll away, but it's like please. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you, no, that's, that's, the damn boy old screwed up. Dude, okay, for those of you that are coming in, damn boy old has a chance of hitting 0 or 99 on all lovers to deal damage or heal the shields or everything like that. They constantly get good ones, and on my damn boy, I've got zeros three times now. I failed to meet my sponsor. I'm not even in the playoffs, dude. This sucks. This sucks so much. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh. Well, welcome back to Team Fight Manager, everybody. Welcome back to Team Fight Manager. The highs and lows of being a coach. Sounds like Fire Emblem? No, not really. Not really at all. Hey, Loki. 
I want to fire you so darn badly for your atrocious game board, for, for how atrocious your game board has been. But at the same time, I don't want to take it out on you because you were okay earlier in our season. It's just that, holy crap, the amount of griefing that has happened with your game board, I do not trust it at all. I need to look at my off season. That's such a tight space to all. Yeah, it really is. We're So, everybody coming in. I'm a coach for Gale Force, my VTuber group. We are in the Amateur League, trying to make our way to Worlds. And guess what? Uh, we bombed out of the Amateur League. And we we didn't even make playoffs, dude. I, 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 I had to win my last two games to make it in the playoffs, and I didn't. Because of that, I'm still in the Amateur League. Oh! That'll be for next stream, everybody. That's gonna be for next stream, and hopefully we'll be able to earn enough money to improve our facilities and maybe get a better gaming house, for instance. But oh man, dude, did this really suck? This was not good at all. My heart is singing. Oh. Got Mondo. Thank you for the. Uh, thank you for joining the cruise ship and welcome aboard. Bomb clap. What? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I failed to get my sponsor requirement, which means my money's bored and I'm gonna have to renew so many contracts at the end of the season, too. Ah, gosh darn it, dude. There's so much that could have been done here. I'd love to buy a new house and more stuff, but we have no money right now. We have no money. Musta? Uh, well, Musta, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not that fluent in Tagalog. Sorry, smile. I was born in America, and my parents always say that that's their one biggest regret of not teaching me, uh, not teaching me Tagalog ever since I was born. So I can kind of understand a conversational, but not that much. Oops. Oh, I'm crying on the inside, dude. This has been a disaster of a season. Well, at the very least, what I'm going to do is cycle through this stuff, uh, cycle through the busy words so I don't have to do it next stream. So that way I can just go ahead and start with my games whenever I come back to it next Thursday. But in the meantime, uh, main thing here is that, uh, I'll just see who gets promoted out of everybody. In the meantime though, because I'm stuffing on my money front, hi, you can just keep on streaming. Nice try, dude. Nice try. You can eat the newspapers, dude. That is not it. Who should I see? Odo Omne! Odo Omne! The European turned NA turned European legend? You do play Bard, though! Bard and Sniper. I could consider you. I could consider you. Who would I want to let go out of my people here? Hoppin, I think you're fine. You can play Gamble, you can play Plague. I could honestly just let go of Loki in that case then. Because I'm so pissed at Loki. Jinbei, you're fine. You can play Etsy. You can play Fighter. Hi, you play Shrine. You're invaluable to the team. Yeah. I'll probably let, I'll probably let uh, Loki go. After those Gamble games. It's not me. It's definitely you, dude. Holy oh, sh... <laughs> How do you bomb out on your Gamble three times? In games that could have gotten us into the playoffs, dude. We I cannot have a player like you on the team if you if your game board old suck that much. <sighs> well, let's attend the award ceremony at the very least. Just witness the guys who got promoted or not, yeah. Congratulations to Loud. Congrats, dude. Uh, congrats, Brazil. Your uh, your representative is now in the semi pro league and PSG Talon. Congrats as well to. Hold on, I got a sneeze coming. <laughs> Ugh. Jeez, that was that was a sneeze. But uh, I believe PSG Talon they're Hong Kong, right? I think they're a Hong Kong team. Congrats to them. Most kills of the season goes to Xiaobai and LGD. And most assists goes... Jatai, OGD. Well, yeah, if a team has most kills, I'd assume they have most assists too. Oh, congrats to you guys. Congrats to your promotion. Maybe I'll see you next season. <sighs> Pain. 
pain. Pain, pain, pain. So much. All right. Well, keep streaming. Now, even though my season's over, I'll come back next year stronger, hopefully. And the main thing with it as well is we have to do our usual thing. So, I, you're a big fan of this and I know it. Smile. We gotta watch worlds. We gotta watch worlds of... Uh, we gotta watch the worlds of Team Fight Manager, everybody. After I do my event matches, probably. Because I because these will earn me money. So, event matches, like player matches in worlds or so. These are special games, which are one offs that I can earn money on. Team with fewer toes wins. Team with greater damage wins. Attack speed of all champion decreased by 50%, and attack doubles, or I could not participate. Oh, actually, crap, it's 11. Actually, I'll probably sit out of these event matches. Because of that, because I need to take care of Eli, my dog, and do a few other things. But also, I'll, I'll jump in with uh, with your stuff later too, so because I want to watch you play. More attack speed, I'm fine with that. All right, we gotta watch Worlds, everybody. So, who do we think is winning Worlds this year? We have. All of the top teams from the LCS, the LEC, the LPO, and the OCK. My money, as always, is on Cloud9. But they have JDG as their first round. So that honestly is... That could go very horribly badly for us. Oh, Sandra Dean? Yeah, sure. Why not, Psyker? For context, my redeem right there always is for Lost and Thoughts All Alone, the iconic Fire Emblem Fates song. I used to play it with um, my, uh, let's say with music too, but it's whatever. Ah, oh, 12 nines out, 3, 2, hello? Hello? I saw that on the schedule. We're out already? No, we lost 3, 2, dude. All right. Uh, well, my money's on Fnatic then. Uh, options though, first and foremost. Hey, to screw you, so anyway, <laughs> just one verse. You, not you, daddy, who taught Kata, Omori, Medru, Hakari, Su, Tarumi, Nasoshi, Tono, Teja, Hidaku, Asua. There you go, one verse of that. Because I love Lost in Thoughts all alone. Smile. So anyway, I just kind of zoomed through. Oh, I think the uh, I think that's a little bored right there. But we're seeing we're seeing the standings right now anyway. And uh, let me see the schedule. KT Trio's fanatic. Fuck. Wow, dude, the memes literally write themselves. It's like. It's literally like Worlds and League of Legends right now. Guess who's in the semifinals? Three Chinese teams and one Korean team. That is literally it. No North American, no European teams. That is hilarious. So beautiful. Thank you. For content for greater context as well. The main thing uh, the main thing is that I trustworthy the character or one of the characters who sings that song, Sajure from Fire Emblem Fates. And as such, I always do my duty to represent him well in uh, what's his face in whatever ability I have to sing. So I learned the English and Japanese words to that songs, and well, I love it very much. So, anyway, uh, that's still bored. So who is going to win worlds, everybody? After I do some streaming, because we're on the off season and I need the money. Nice try, hi. Nice try. Oh, JT won the Wonder T won. Korea wins the world again! Congratulations, Korea! <laughs> wow! Korea takes back the throne from Japan. Uh, from Japan. From China. Congratulations. Alright, well, in that case, then, uh, I don't need to watch the award ceremony. I'll just get us back to next season. I, I want to see who comes around to be in the amateur league this, term, uh, this uh, coming season. And also who we get. Okay. New champs! We always do our patch reviews with this. Clown and Dark Mage. I don't know what either of them do. Werewolf can one-shot Sniper! <laughs> 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 
why they both werewolves attach? You're putting him back in the meta, everybody. Pyromancer and Bard cooldowns. That's pretty darn good, dude. Sniper, attack speed. Yo, snipers, that's that's pretty good, dude. Ghost? Ew, ghost attack speed. And vampire gets more health. Why? Executioner nerf, understandable. Shield Barrier nerf, understandable. Shrine Maiden nerf, understandable. Shadow Mancer only has two attack. What the heck, dev team? I hate Shadow Mancer, but is she that omnipresent in the games that I don't play? What the heck? Two attack? That's even lower than Swordsman. Okay, who am I renewing? Hi? Yeah. Even if Shrine Maiden's going down in priority, your werewolf has been amazing. I will gladly keep you. Jinbei? Your three pits besides execution are pretty good too. Yep. Loki, screw you, dude. You, you, you screwed us out of our games. Toppin, yeah, you've got pretty solid champion pool. Kaiser. You play Bard? But then the new guy should play Bard too. I think you should let Kaiser go. Big Pomelo? Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Let them go. I will recruit... Odo Omne. Oh, it's not the... Well, it's not the recruitment period yet. And then let's see who we have on our... Oh. I need to go to the end of season. Now we can recruit. Let's see who we have in our group now. Oh. Oh, I guess technically, because we're at the bottom, it'll just redo everything so loud and PSG are back with us. All right. Well, that's for next time, everybody. I'm just going to hit save. Thank you. I'll go back to the title. And thank you, everybody, for joining me on the first stream of Season 3 of Team Fight Manager. This will probably take what would be my Monday slot, I'd suppose, to be my weekly thing with Worlds coming up. So even though this was Thursday, it'll be coming up Monday then, unless I want to do more Titanfall, which, hey, who all knows, I love me some Titanfall. And hopefully I'll be able to do anything more. Season 3? Yes, so if you check my old YouTube VODs, I think I have them up. This is the third time around that I've been doing a Team Fight Manager, because... Every year when Worlds, uh, you know, like the World Championship for League of Legends comes around, I play this game. I've been streaming for three years. This is my third time around. Because if I check my previous save files, for instance, load game as you can see. You can, uh, see, I was able to, this is my offline profile, first time Sky 9s, because I was Cloud 9. Sky 5s, I won the World Championship. Season 2, I also bombed out of the Amateur League. And then I just gave up from there on, because I bombed out three times in a row. Because I was playing on insane difficulty. I'm playing on hard this time. But now, I'm playing on hard. And I bombed out once. So we'll see if it can work out an another time, hopefully. So, at least for now, everybody. Thank you for all joining me. And yep, you can check out those old bots. That's, I think they're on my YouTube. And wherever you are, wherever you may be. Whether you're on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, or more. You've been your wonderful windmates, your cruise ship captain, director's proxy, ever at your service. And have a good evening, at least from my side of the world. And I'll see you in Discord, so we're gonna play more of this. Thank you everybody for coming again, and have a good one too, Psyker.